welcome achievers to your Lies of Peace podcast. And I, I always uh, wrestle with this review, discussion, review, talk. I don't know. I feel like people like it when we do the review in the beginning. So I'll keep that for this one. Let me know if that's something you still want. It's been a while since we've done one of these because it's been a while since the game's really warranted one of these. Um, I'm excited because we have this. And I feel like Spider Man 2 is going to be another spoiler cast we're going to talk about. But I, I'm, I'm getting off track. Lies of P, spoiler cast review session, of course, with the one and only Alex. How are you? Hello, everyone. I'm doing well. I'm always happy to have a spoiler cast. That means I, I get to do another episode with you. So, yes. We are here for Lies of P, something that snuck up, I think, on me. I don't know if it really snuck up on you or the audience at all. But for me specifically, I mean, I mm-hmm. saw this game. I saw it coming. I was like, yeah, no, it's something on my radar. It looked cool. It looked like a, mm-hmm. you know, like everyone else said, it looked like a Bloodborne. It's pre- I mean, that's the obvious, obvious um, inspiration for the game. Uh, but Correct. I didn't think I'd like it quite as much as I do. Uh, mm-hmm. What did you think so far of the game? We'll do light non-spoilers mm-hmm. in the beginning. Do a quick um, review. Do you recommend it or not? And then we'll move oh, on for to spoilers. Sure. Uh, I 100% recommend it. Um, I first time seeing this game i'm like okay looks like a souls type i'm already in uh now is it gonna be good because they're gonna have had things in the past that are souls like they're eh. like uh i was really wanting um was it was steel rising i think that's what it was called oh that sounds right yeah uh but like it looks like multiple, a Soulsborne. You're you're really well known in, with the Soulsborne games. I'm actually not. I was thinking about yeah, it the other rising. day. I was thinking about the other day, and I was like, mm-hmm. "Yeah, you know, this is this is my favorite like from soft, not from soft game, right? Like not yeah. a Soulsborne." And then I was thinking, I was like, "Well, I haven't really played any other ones. I yeah, I, I definitely really to a played. bunch. You you are closer to an expert in these type of games. You've played." Mm-hmm. Lords of the Fallen. I don't think you beat it, but I mean, you mm-hmm. played a good I, bit no, of I didn't it. Beat it. You, yeah. you played a lot of Neo One and Two. I know that. Uh-huh. And then, yeah. did you try Wukong? Isn't that's another one, right? Wolong. Yeah, I tried Wolong. Wolong. Sorry. Yeah, I tried Wolong. I'm pl- I'm waiting for uh, I, th- I think it's called uh, Wukong, the Black Myth, or something like that. I'm waiting oh. for that one. Okay. Um, so, so you're an expert in this. In your kind mm-hmm. of expertise, with of course, we've all just a quick background. Me and Alex have played every from soft game even armor mm-hmm. core and all these i mean we talk about it all the time but from your experience with these kind of genres yeah i think you can give a specific light on these yeah i, I mean this one i it's just i had my my interest peaked just because i'm like oh it's pinocchio i was like that sounds kind of cool as soon as we play this game like it's 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 a joyful ride mm-hmm. and surprising because you know you wouldn't think like this game, I would say, like, you're surprised from Soft didn't make it. It is. I, I keep milling over that in my head constantly. Like, do I want to get on the podcast and really say this is of the caliber of a From Soft, of a Bloodborne, of an of a Dark Souls one three, of a Sekiro? And I think, yeah, I do. I think it really does. It kind of it comes close. Yeah, I think it really does box with the heavyweights in that specific mm-hmm. scenario. Like, I, I, I think it really does feel like it. I, I don't think it's one to one. I don't think if you showed this to like a FromSoft nerd, mm-hmm. you would trick them. But you would yeah. definitely trick an everyday person, thinking yeah. like, yeah, this is you know this is like uh, this is a another FromSoft game. If you showed them, they kind of. Mm-hmm. I mean, they go another Dark Souls type game. They, yeah. they like are. I, I think it's quite shocking how much it is like Bloodborne. It's to the mm-hmm. to the noise pickup sounds to just about everything in the game is heavily inspired, like very heavily see, inspired. Close to where it, it makes you go like, is this is a lot of everyone else's ideas. I don't hate it. I just it's crazy, and, and it's not their fault because no one else is making Bloodborne. So yeah, and see, I only got that bit maybe a couple times in game Mm. every uh, like maybe two or three times throughout the whole game i felt like this is very this feels like it came out of bloodborne the rest of it though it felt like it was its own thing yeah which i like that's a good point i would say middle to actually the end of the game is 
mm-hmm. very uniquely it. That's a good point, especially with some of the any types you start finding. I I, I didn't want let's uh let's go into the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, now we both clearly recommend it. I love this. This will be uh my top five for the year. I mean, just easily. Just not. It's not even close, frankly. Uh, it's this is yeah. how much I love the game. I've ha- very much heavily recommend it. If you somehow clicked on this and you're just curious, and I will say this. Um. I think you can listen to pretty much any spoiler cast of like a Dark Souls game or something and mm-hmm. not really care because you're not playing it for the story, right? You're not playing Dark Souls 3 or Demon Souls and like, I w- you know, I wonder what's going to happen <clears throat> to to patches in this one. Like, you don't really care. Mm-hmm. You're playing it because it feels great and the gameplay is good. Yeah. This one is actually, I do think, um, if you haven't played it and you're just putting this on in the background or something, I do recommend you actually do play it because the ending and specifically the narrative throughout the game is very good. And it's actually very well told, in my opinion. Uh, there could be a little bit of pacing issues maybe here and there. But aside from that, it's very good. I think it's I actually mean, very good. I, th- I mean, out of not being a f- from software game, I think out of the Souls-like genre, I guess they were calling it now. Yeah, I think it's the to. best one that I from they've had. Like, you know, there's people cha- like, you know, there's Lords of the Fallen. Still rising, this soul, uh, you know, there's a bunch of them, but like this one to me is there's this one, and then we get into the from software ones. Like, this is yeah. the best one to that level. I think, so. I think so too. I want to do, I want to get into discussing this game first. Of course, this was developed by Round 8 Studios with Neil Wiz as the publisher. Uh, you ask, you, you, I say those names, and everyone at home, uh, like if, you're, if you're like me, you go, who. And that's pretty much, I mean, these, I, I, you look yeah. up their games, they, they're not known for really anything. Uh, so this is kind of the first time they've really been at bat for something. And I'd be curious how much this costs, because this must cost, this game must have cost a lot of money. Uh, hundred, uh, easily a hundred million dollars probably for this, uh, for this kind of visual fidelity. Uh, directed by, um, I hope I don't butcher this, Xiao Zhiwon and the writer Carlo Collodi, which is not true. Uh, that is the original writer for, the Pinocchio, but that is what it was credited. So very interesting. And maybe it's like ghost written or something. I don't know. Uh, but very interesting. Uh, <clears throat> fun. Uh, I have a couple fun facts here, but I don't want to jump into this quite yet. I wanted to kind of give the studio the flowers here. Uh, just coming out of nowhere and being this mm-hmm. good. It's pretty crazy. It's yeah. pretty interesting how. I, you know, I like to think I know. The big players in like the the gaming verse, whatever you want to call this, but really sitting down and being like, yeah, let's try out Liza P. And then being like, yeah, who made this? I'm sure I've heard of them. And then I look and I'm like, who are these people? And then I go in mm-hmm. and they've made these random one off games, uh, actually not even big in uh, America. I feel like this is really their big push into America, period. Seems like there was a lot of uh, uh, Eastern uh, games versus something that i would see here but it was very good and i cannot i can't wait to see what they do with their but we'll get that in a second though i can't wait to see yeah they've now they've just dabbled into something to where like i think we got something here and i'm just i'm i'm excited to see where they go from here now alex i want you to actually stab at something is there something you okay. discuss or want to talk about with this game now we can jump i really think wherever we want because i really want this podcast okay. to just delve into fun was this something that that you've just been like ah, i really i kind of want to talk about this and get the perspective of mm-hmm. Elijah with a specific topic is there something that you want to know want to discuss because i think huh. the ending specifically is something i want to jump yeah. to immediately but if there's something you would let rather let me know no yeah i would agree the ending because it's so they would not understand the mm. I guess in a way like it's people like still don't know like I, I, I just yeah I, I was like people still don't know what some certain things meant yeah so I, I I'll let's let's start with there then so of course the end of the game you depending on your choices I guess uh have Geppetto has died protecting you and I guess we'll use the trending for this specific discussion and then we can get into the other endings. I think this is actually one of those games where the other endings are pretty bad in not in terms of qual- uh no, sorry, not in terms of like morality, but in terms of just how like not, just not very good, I think, as just endings. Uh, it's so I can't imagine anyone playing the, the endings and being satisfied by them mm-hmm. if you didn't get the true and quote endings. But yeah, so the true ending for the game 
which is what everyone's pointing to, is the ending, of course, where you let Sophia live. And it's mm -hmm. unclear if there's anything else that's needed to be done. Of course, you need to refuse giving Geppetto your heart and you kill the nameless puppet. But it's unclear if you need high humanity. Unclear. You don't. You definitely don't need lies. Lies have nothing to do yeah. with that specific ending. Uh, because we, me and you, Alex, had an extra interesting kind of duality with our playthroughs where mm -hmm. you were able to get do certain things, but I was able to. And then I was reading online that certain endings need something and that clearly wasn't true. It doesn't seem like many people understand the nature of the game and how to do certain things. Yeah. So things like I was reading, like you have to get the golden lie. If you don't know what the golden lie is, it's of course your portrait grows its nose, just like the the fairy tale every time you lie, right? Um, the Disney movie is what everyone's going to think of. And you, uh, if it gets long enough, I don't know the number, but if it gets long enough, you're able to take it off and it's a weapon, which is pretty hilarious. Yeah, it's, uh, a nice staff. <laughs> it's just a staff and it's a very a pretty cool staff. I messed around with it a little bit, but you get to yank it off and use it as a weapon. Uh, I saw people thinking you needed that to beat the game. You don't. You, mm -hmm. do, you don't at all. I didn't get it my first playthrough. Yeah, I got you, the true yeah. ending or whatever. You do, you needed um. It, th that is only tied to lies. It's not tied to humanity. I saw people saying it's tied to humanity. It isn't. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, so, there's so many things. But this specific ending, of course, you let Sophia live, I think is really the only choice that actually does matter in this entire game. I think so. Be, being you either let Sophia live or, or give, her peace. give her peace, mm -hmm. I think is the only actual choice that matters for anything in the game. In terms yeah. of endings, and then you get to the end. Of course, you fight Nameless Puppet, which one of the coolest Oof. bosses I think of the game. Uh, and of course, in uh, that's up there with with how much I enjoyed just bosses in general. That was a very, mm -hmm. very, very fun fight. Very difficult too. That was, mm -hmm. of course, what I had the most difficulty in, which which it should have been. It's it's a hard. It's you know, last boss should be the hardest boss. Yeah, ever. yeah, and. If you're going to do that, boss, don't do it at 2 a.m. when you're like. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I I definitely had to really, really concentrate and really use mm -hmm. everything I had in my arsenal. I kind of throughout the game was just kind of using whatever. Not really whatever. Sorry. I was using what I liked. So I started yeah. the game with. Uh, 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 and this is a perfect segue to uh, what we started our classes. I did the dexterity one which I can't remember mm -hmm. the name of it in world. I think it was like balanced. Ba no, no. Dexterity was, was it balance? I don't think it yeah, was balance. I, I, here. Yeah, look it up for me. But I did the dexterity one and that starts off with the rap rapier. I used the rapier the entire game. And whenever I didn't use the rapier, it was not a fun time. So <laughs> I just used the rapier. I didn't really use items at all. Uh, I used grinders all the time. Like if I needed electricity, you know, I'm using the blitzes and all these things. I use that uh, from chapter one. Path to of the cricket eight. is balanced. Cricket. Dexterity is path of the bastard. Bastard. I was gonna say bastard. I, I doubt and then path of the what was it? The path of the sweeper is the physical or like physical. it's heavy. heavy strength. Yeah, yeah. Strength. Whatever. I use that from like one to eight. Pick up the weapon from the final boss. There, I use two dragons. The the rest of the game and my next playthrough. We'll get into the new game plus and all that later. But uh, that that was incredibly fun. You started off with strength, correct? Yes, so yeah, I did the path of the sweeper. I did strength. So I did a multivity main, build. What was your main weapon? If you had to give one weapon the flowers for your whole playthrough, what was it? So it's it's. I'm assuming my yeah, because my. More than half of the game, I used the booster glaive. Right. And but then like towards like the ending half, I used the bone saw. OK. And that was just the plain bolt saw, no change of handle. I changed the handle. I put the fire axe handle to it to make it quicker uh, swings. Okay. okay, so you, so so you I, did saw. So I lost a little bit of damage, different. but I was able to swing faster. Yeah, mine was just the straight up uh, rapier. I, every time I changed it, I did worse. Mm -hmm. So I, I, had, I just had to keep going back to the rapier every time. Yeah, I tried yeah. doing other things every time I did. It just didn't work. Uh, so I just yep. did the rapier until I got the two dragons slightly off track. We're going back to the endings. <clears throat> so get to the ending. All right. You do the Sophia ending. You get the touching Geppetto scene where he actually you actually lay you down. And before we get into Sophia, I do want to discuss the theming of the entire game, pretty much telling you Geppetto's the bad guy. 
Were you able to kind of pick this up early on? I was kind of in the black and well, I would say in the dark, um, really, with a lot of this. Specifically, when we get to the uh, when Vanini is able to decrypt mm -hmm. the Puppet King's message. Yeah, the key. Yeah, he, and it when says he decrypts Geppetto, that just be Geppetto. Yeah, so he reveals the rule zero, which in this world, there are four rules of puppets, right? Uh, and no one knows rule zero because the creator put it in without telling anyone. And it seems to be at such a level that it is undetectable because other people make puppets. It's not just a pedal. So it just it seems like there's yep. something in the puppets that people don't know. Right. So uh, just a quick thing, just in case you didn't know, the four rules of, of puppets is a direct inspiration from actually the three laws of Robotnik uh, robotics, mm -hmm. which is from Isaac Avimov's iRobot series which is like, I believe, a, a collection of source stories that he wrote about robots and these things. Now, the laws of robotics are pretty similar to the puppet laws. I'll go for the laws of robotics, then we'll get into the puppet laws. So the first law of the robotics, a robot may not injure a human being or through inaction allow a human being come to harm. Second law, a robot must obey the orders given by a human being, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. In the third law, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law, right? Very similar to what we get in the puppet laws. Now, the puppet laws, for a reminder, are as such. Puppets must obey all commands of their creators, which is humans, pretty much. I hate humans, yeah. Puppets are never allowed to harm their creators. All puppets have to protect and serve humans as well as the city of Krat. Pretty vague there, I think. Puppets bound by the Grand Covenant cannot lie so pretty much the grand covenant is like all puppets mm -hmm. it's just it's pretty much so if you are bound by the grand covenant which is pretty much the puppet laws you cannot lie and there is a secret rule zero we find later in the game which is all uh robots um pretty much succumb to the original creator which is Sheppy geppetto which you of course then put two and two together, meaning that Giuseppe Geppetto has now created the puppet frenzy and everything we have found ourselves in currently. Mm -hmm. Now, were you able to foresee <clears throat> any of this, Alex? I was not. I really didn't see that coming until we are walking up to him at the very end of the game when he is in the cell. Mm, yeah, no, I thought he was bad before that. Mm. Um, When we first see him, uh, after... oh, where was it? Honestly, I was I'm thinking right after we got that message from the King Puppets because yeah, that's when I had know, suspicions, but I was well, like, that's what feel like I'm being messed with. I don't think he really is. And, this. Yeah. And see, I was like, at first, I'm like, you know, he's missing. We finally find him. He comes back. Then we we got to go find Vin, uh, Vanini. Yeah. Which is uh, what is it like? A, like another what would you count consider him just another creator? Yeah, he doesn't say that's much, a partner, right? Not really, but he kind of no. is. He pretty much I creates remember what puppets. he said. He's Vanini. Okay, he's, he's just another creator. Of, he's in charge of Vanini Works, which pretty much okay. makes puppets. Yeah, but um, throughout all that, I was just like, I, yeah, like he should be fine. He's he, uh, but then we get after we kill the puppet king. And then he comes out of nowhere. I'm like, what are you doing out here? And then strange. he's like, oh, yeah. He, and he's like, I'm just glad you're okay. I'm like, why? Yeah, like, was, it, it was weird. You. And then you get the the encrypted thing about Romeo. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, oh, this is Romeo. And then he's talking to Carlo. And I'm like, wait, isn't Carlo Geppetto's son? Were they best friends? Yeah, and I'm like, you later find out that they were. That was his puppet. Yeah. Yeah, and then I'm like, wait a minute, that's weird. Like, what's happening is like, so I was already like, kind of like, what the hell is happening? And you see, just, oh, what's it? You got to decipher it. What does it say? Who is in charge of the puppet frenzy? And then he says, Geppetto. I'm like, of course, it's always the creator. In my head, I'm like, it's the creator of all of it. So my mind thought immediately to the movie I Robot. So uh, with Will Smith. Yeah. So I Robot, of course, is the a retelling of Isaac Asimov's I robot and it's okay. incredibly similar to, to a yeah, lot of so this like, is yeah. incredibly similar to other things 
yeah, so I immediately thought that, and I'm like, of course, the creator of the robots that's supposed to help everybody is the one who made them go mad. I'm like, I feel like that's not too crazy to think. So throughout no, the game, I had my, I was thinking, I'm like, I don't know if I trust you, dude. So mm-hmm. in the cage, as soon as he says, have I been a trustworthy father? No. <laughs> you I haven't talked yes. to me. I told them no. I said yes, but I was lying. So I, mm. I said yes, but my idea was I feel like he would lie in this situation. He wouldn't just be like, yeah, no, you haven't. And so I was like, no, he probably lies here specifically. Mm-hmm. I thought you would get something. You don't. You just you just gotcha. It just is a lie that exists in the game. But yeah. I definitely said that as like, oh, yeah, you are. And I was like, dude, he seems like he's cracking a little bit here. I'm mm-hmm. curious, like why he is. And of course, you find out. Uh, at the very, very, pretty much end of the game, that this was the plan. Like the game was the plan. Mm-hmm. The like this this yeah. happened to a T to his planning, which is pretty crazy when you really think about it. Like all of the variables pretty much were accounted for. Like he knew that uh, Carl. He could said be he's revived. a natural tactician. Yeah, he could get revived to then go out and stop the puppet frenzy, which would then power Ergo, which I. And the only part I don't quite know is how he would know Simon would do what he did and collect all the ergo. Uh, Cause that's, that's another thing that needed to happen, which the ergo needed to be all in one spot so he could use it to pretty much bring Carl back to life. So that's the only part I'm a little confused by. How did he mm-hmm. know that Simon would take that advantage and use the aisle of, um, uh, Oh my god, the Isle of uh what's the order that they're a part of? I'm blanking on it. It starts with an A. Alchemists? Yes, thank you. Oh the and they use the Isle of Alchemists to then gather all the ergo in that one spot. That's the only problem. Mm-hmm. Like, did he know he would do that, or was that just a bonus? Uh because he also said he needed the hand of God to do it. So mm-hmm. he so he needed Simon to make the hand of God, or at least use it to become what he becomes, which is like this ergo infested being that has godlike powers uh because uh and that scene was so cool where it Mm -hmm. depicts the uh the painting i'm blanking on the name of the painter right now uh but it's it's the the uh touch from god pretty much and becomes this kind of being that can control ergo in such a way that is not foreseen in the story pretty much venturing on magic i'm assuming uh and it's there's so much that you can really piece about throughout the ending. But you figure out Giuseppe, Giuseppe Geppetto, of course, is the mastermind behind the entire game. And you are given an option is to either give him the heart, which the entire reason why you've had the heart, which I didn't catch this the first playthrough, Alex. So we, me and Alex both played through and beat this twice. Got all the achievements, actually, too. Mm-hmm. On my second playthrough, I really paid attention to the play. My first playthrough, I thought was like, oh, they're like teaching us how the first puppets were made. But I wasn't paying attention to what the puppets looked like. So there, in the puppets play that was happening in the King of Puppets, he was telling, uh, well, to him, Carlo, but to us, of course, Pinocchio, that he took the heart of Carlo, made it into this P organ, Ooh. is what we'll call yeah. it, I guess, mm. and then puts it into Pinocchio. And that is how it works. And he needs it back to put into the thing. And I'm guessing I'm a, I, I'm assuming the quartz are helping the P organ. And then, of course, the ergo throughout the entire game is collecting inside of you and making you more human. Like, of course, being shown throughout the game with you growing hair, your face turning mm-hmm. more human, getting freckles and these things. And see, at the same time, I like I felt that way. But then I also thought of uh, we're going to get into a time travel here. Uh, oh, Sophia, yeah, can control time. Yes, she's the one who brings you to life at the beginning of the game with the butterfly ergo. Yes, yeah, she wounds which, time in such a way to she. Make so you I'm know. wondering if so because Geppetto or the heart was dead, she f- rewinded it to bring it back to life, and that's what the mechanical thing is mm. collecting all the ergo. So the heart went back to it and it's working again from the ergo. The machine's holding it to keep it, get it stronger, I guess. I don't know. And so that's why Geppetto was like, oh, I know she can control time, so I'm going to use them. 
and now I want the heart back now that it's back to its original form. Yeah, now it's powered. Yeah. Now but, it's powered. Yeah. So that was uh, something that I was a little confused by too. What does she do at the beginning of the game that gives you such a way that you are alive? That makes mm-hmm. the most sense, I guess, where she is literally wound back time to the heart where it is it lives. alive again. Yeah, I read it as it's just giving you ergo, but you well, would, and you would think that he could give you. I ergo think the machine to... is holding the ergo. The machine, the so the the robotic machine part is the contraption collecting ergo, and the heart is just in there. I don't know as a as a as a battery, probably. It seems know. to be in such a way that it's meant to be some sort of battery, of course. Yeah. Going into. Yes, of course, this was. Oh, and then the, the, uh, going into G- Giuseppe Geppetto's plan, whereas he's going to pretty much and make I, his son again from a dead body. That's pretty much the idea, I guess. And I feel like they're working together. Who, who's who, who's Geppetto there? and Simon? I think they were working together, but not together. Uh, well, I was thinking sense? it was like, like they, well, they had both. They t- had two completely different ideologies of what they had wanted. Well, to happen. I think. Behind it all, I think Geppetto. I, in my head, I'm thinking. I always thought Geppetto went to him and was like, "Hey, you can control all this ergo, mm. and I can make this said contraption to do so. But the only way I can use that is to use Sophia, and I need you her. I need you to keep her captive. To mm. do, like, so I feel like they worked in some way, and then he pretty much like." messed him over and that's why it's like at the end simon's like oh watch out for that one or whatever like you know he he screwed him over maybe but he was an alchemist i don't believe they had i don't know with the alchemist specifically maybe they did and i missed it i mean how but else does geppetto know how to do all this shit i mean what's the he hand smart. That he, he got i, I think he founded there ergo, right was it him or was it um the the founder of the alchemist i can't Let's quite see. remember Ooh. now uh, it's at the very beginning of the game the founder of ergo i think it was him if it not, it might have been Vanini. <clears throat> but I'll leave the world. Them... Of... Oh wait, no, I'm sorry. That's the wrong thing. Yeah, I was literally about to read it. Treasure hunter. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. How did lies, but no, that's not it. It was literally about to ask me, how do I get rare ergos? That's not what I want. <laughs> well, you find that out. Yeah. Expound on. Yeah, I I wouldn't be shocked if there is some sort of collaboration, but but it doesn't seem like Geppetto has any direct. I don't know. He does have direct knowledge of what's going on, kind of, but it's not specific to the point where I don't think it's as straightforward as they were working together. I think it's more closer to like they mm-hmm. were partners from afar, maybe because they needed a similar goal to happen. Uh, this whole time, Geppetto wants what he's doing to happen, but he just needs him <laughs> to die before he actually becomes a god and takes over because he mm. wanted to become this god that can rule over the world so there's no more lies and no more deceit and death i guess so he like wants to become this being to control the universe i guess but of course we murder him senselessly for that so uh to stop his insanity and um he's also the reason sophia is the way she is too which is one of the Mm -hmm. most heartbreaking things of the whole game i do like uh their take on the blue fairy of course which is something in the pinocchio stories she is the blue mm-hmm. fairy, of course, with all these like blue things, the little pendant, mm-hmm. the flower, the, the butterflies. You go into her uh, study and you can see the butterfly on the wall and it's called the mm-hmm. blue fairy. Very cool. Very cool little things throughout that whole thing. Uh, and I don't think uh, I, I, I would ask, but we both didn't. We both uh, let Sophia go. Uh, it seemed to, uh, for me, it was just the oh, like to give her thing. peace. Yeah, I give her peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We both I mean, did she that. literally asks people, you. She asks you. I think most people would definitely do that. I think I wouldn't be shocked if the uh, overwhelming majority picked picked that option. So I don't think we need mm-hmm. to go into to that specific thing. Although I think it's, I like that they do make you have this puppet become more human throughout the game and have more human aspects. But on paper, they could be skewed in a certain way that they are negative, but they aren't. Um, one of the creators of the game went on the record to say um not all lies are bad and that's kind of the idea of lies of p right like mm-hmm. just because you lie doesn't necessarily make you evil and of course uh, at the very beginning of the game they say deception is a very human trait 
That's mm -hmm. and they associate that with humans and not puppets. And that's why one of the reasons that they can't lie is, you know, keeping them as a puppet versus something more human like that can know like to deceive and and all these things. But pretty much so. What, what else? Oh, and Geppetto, of course, unclear how his son died. I thought, So, of course, we have those sand time breaks. You mm -hmm. can call them, I guess. The Ergo, of course, we find out is the calcification of time and memories and like the human soul almost kind of that comes about from the petrification disease that's happening in crack currently so you become uh you get the uh petrification disease and then you can get ergo from that and then that's how they use a lot of the stuff in the game and we come across the giant isle of alchemists and on our way we're seeing all those Memories of Carlo and Romeo and and just Carlo's life. Unclear how he dies. It says he dies. He dies from an unknown disease. Is what it says right here. Um, huh, OK, I, I, so we get the very last memory is Carlo seemingly on the ground dying, which is weird being because sad. so I was like, what happened? What, 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 I, I was so curious my, what happened there. So I'm so honestly. I'm curious if it's the petrification disease that killed Maybe. him. Maybe. Because they are, because uh, it, it says Carlo was the son and he died from an unknown, dis unknown disease, which devastated the father. This led to create Geppetto to create the P organ to house Carlo's Zergo. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, but that like, makes I, sense. So that, that just answered yeah. the question. He yeah. makes the P organ to take Carlo's Ergo. To house Carlo's Ergo, yeah. Mm -hmm. By using Carlos' corpse, he creates a puppet that can support the P organ, P, uh, which risks potential destruction of Carlos's Ergo. As a result, Geppetto is thought to create a new puppet that could observe the Ergo. They're both tranquilizing yeah. the P organ. So he can l live and eat the Ergo to power. So I'm wondering if that's what Nameless Puppet... That makes sense. Nameless Puppet... No, Nameless Puppet was his body. I knew that. Yeah. It was Carlos... I mean, corpse being controlled by um, him, which is pretty dark uh, when you think about it. But uh, he was like making the end. Um, so, yeah, I get, that makes sense. So he dies um, to the petrification disease. He takes the ergo from the body. I guess he restores the body in some way and then makes it a puppet. Well, and, well my confusion is at the end, when you see all those little memory things, you see the little boy, which I assume is Carlo. He goes up to the stalker. And like he was like, oh, I want to be just like you. Teach me uh, how yeah. to do stuff. And the stalker's like, oh, you know, get away from me, pretty much. He's like, Gemini, yeah, deal with him. Gemini. And yeah. then at the the next one, J he's dead. And the stalker is like, oh, I w if I would have been here it's sooner. I'm like, what does that yeah, mean? Yeah, she says like, something like that. That was confusing. It was like, he's dead to his That's why I was confused, too. I was maybe like, what does got, that mean? Maybe he got... How do you contract the disease? That's something I actually don't remember. Uh, let's Maybe see. Maybe he was attacked by this, by one Maybe. of the things. How do you get? That is a possibility, but the I, there are certain things with Carlo that I was a little confused about, but it seems like it's there in the game. I just need to find it. I was reading a lot of these things, too, so I'm surprised mm -hmm. that I only find out I don't know these things in something like this environment. But, but of course, end of the game, it's, I find it interesting that the entire game, and it's Beautiful in some ways because it is really about like the father's love and what he would be willing to do to get mm -hmm. his son back. Uh, also, uh, we see Carlos' mom at the very beginning of the memory too. She seems to have passed as well, and then we mm -hmm. get to the point where Carlo passes, and that just seems to uh, break him to the point where he's like, Make "Well, I insane, think yeah. I think I'm just going to create a, a complete massacre to get my son back." And yeah. what's funny is if you have not seen the other three endings, the bad ending in quotes, you know, you take he rips out your heart, Ooh. puts it into Carlo. And then Carlo <laughs> turns into you like he looks. I mean, you look. Exactly yeah, he looks the same literally Carlo. the same. Yeah. And he goes and murders everyone at the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Walks out, walks out and he's like, you ready to go? And he has like some deviant look on his face. He smiles yeah. and behind him is just everybody dead. Yeah. So he kills everyone. I don't. I, that's the part where I didn't understand why he did that. If you read the note from the game, um, he he needs to stabilize crate. So I guess his idea is he's going to wipe out any sort of any anybody threats? affiliation with or them? something. Yeah, maybe that. 
and him be the only knowing knower of puppets or something, and then he'll do something to stabilize Crate or something of that nature. But he kills everyone, and he's clearly a psycho. So it's um, that, and that's one of the endings where I'm like, eh, you know, that's cl- that's clearly not the good ending. So it, it's definitely, you know, that that's definitely just a ending. It feels like, but not really the ending. And then we move on to, uh, or let's just move on from pretty much rounding out Geppetto. I I found his character very good. I I did like the little subversion at near the end. I think more people mm-hmm. saw it coming than I did. I just didn't. I just didn't think we were doing that. As soon game, as I saw the motherfucker, as, as soon as you see that dude standing in the center of an arena, I'm like, he's fucked. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. The, when I walked in, I was like, well, here's the boss fight, <laughs> like in the yeah. clear boss fight arena. Yeah, that was that's he's a good just, point to you. He's just chilling, like waiting on you, just like, chilling there with a crate. And I'm like, all right, what do you have in that literally Mary Poppins bag? And it does. And my wife actually pointed out where he was very manipulative, constantly calling you a good boy, good, you know, uh-huh. or you know, he's such a good son. Because like, that's all your character would want. Yeah, yeah. So he keeps telling you how good you are, and then he needs your heart and stuff, and he rips it out of you. But uh-huh. yeah, he was a very dark character, but I did enjoy him quite, quite a bit. And then the, that's pretty much the conclusion of his plan. He goes to make Carlo and all these things. And mm-hmm. we get to, we go from that ending to him dying. He dies protecting Carlo's heart at the end, which is which was actually very I think was a very cool ending. Uh, your character was dead like you lost, you lose to the nameless puppet. But Geppetto steps in, stops the blade, nameless puppet, very confused. Like what? the? F- and he's like, you're going to destroy his heart like I couldn't let you ha- that happen. And then you he man punch his his heart out of his chest and crushing your hand Mm -hmm. sick imagery i mean are you kidding me that was so cool Ah, it's right in his chest you rip it out it's crushing your hands he falls Mm -hmm. and the whatever ending he there says you were a worthless puppet uh that's if you let sophia live question mark i think that's all you need to do because that's how yeah mine worked out so from what i'm seeing yeah that's literally it's just that the specific decision is the all that matters for that. Yeah, because everyone's that, saying yeah, that's the a lie. Just, just you have neutral to ending. It. Yeah, it's, it's people. It's, I heard. I saw so many people. It's like, oh, you have to tell the truth most of the game. That's not true. The playthrough no. I got that ending. I got the golden lie. So you know, I lied a bunch. So mm-hmm. th- that's not true. I, I really do think it. All it has to do with is is um that specific situation with Sophia. Unclear if you need humanity full for anything because I was full in humanity for both playthroughs. So I don't know if that was important at the end. Maybe it is. I don't know. And you were too, right? For your second playthrough, you had full humanity. What? Like when you got the thing, it says your heart was pounding. I, I don't think so. Maybe it doesn't remember. matter. Maybe I, I, that I doesn't matter either. I don't think it matters because I was like, towards the end, I mean, I was, I did the, it feels warm, things like that. But I don't think I got heart was I don't know maybe people said you need you needed the high humanity so I don't ki- think so I sorry I, I was gonna say I don't think you, I had full humanity because when you get to Sophia your hair is supposed to do the end thing where it turns gray at only that when scene you, that's how you only when you kill her is it really yeah. only when you kill her mm-hmm. okay that's what it said and I had full humanity at that part I believe maybe you already I, had full humanity I think so can't quite remember now I don't know. I believe it's only when you select give her peace is when you get because you have to touch her ergo for that to happen. That's what that's yeah. what shows. That's why you get gray, gray okay. hair is I believe you're touching her ergo. I don't know what's happening if if she's accelerating time or something when you when she's doing that mm-hmm. or something and you age. I I don't know why you're getting the gray hair but her yeah. him him touching her chest. I think it's to show something. that you you're human or like in a way so your hair went from you know black to gray, showing he's like, oh, you know your age, your hair is aging. That means you're you have humanity in you. Maybe so, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Oh, we still haven't touched the Sophia part. And uh, Sophia, we go back after that ending. Of course, she he 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 says, "I'm sorry, son," which is probably the only time he actually means to call you son in like a mm-hmm. actual deep way. And then he dies there. You go. To Sophia. Now, this is interesting, Alex. Someone pointed this out to me, and I don't know what it means. I think it's just meant to keep it more open so it doesn't seem as final, especially to the developers. You walk out to a Sophia puppet, which I assume was already made at some point. 
and you give back, it seems, your ergo or Sophia's ergo that you take from her. I don't know which it is. I don't know if it's Carlo's ergo. I don't know if it's Sophia's ergo that she gives you to the beginning of the game. I don't know if it's tied to whatever happens when you touch Sophia when she dies peacefully. And you put it in the puppet. You collapse. Now, Alex, does P die in that moment? I don't think so. I because thought... I mean, you see him move, but you're talking about in that specific moment or like just in general? In that scene, is Pinocchio dead? I don't I, think so because I thought he was dead upon. So further... I thought he was, but then I, you see him move a little bit after when she yes. like wakes up and you see him go kind of like move and he's like, oh, he passed the fuck out. You. I don't and know. then she says, it's good to see you, which yeah. could be a goodbye, but it's, but you know, it's not really a goodbye. But it he seems moved. Like a hello. Uh, he he doesn't move, so I didn't catch this the first time I played. I, I beat it. I I read it somewhere. I don't remember where or why I saw it, but I saw it somewhere that he twi- twitches mm-hmm. when he does, and, and it sees that you saw it as well. And he does. He kind of twitches when he puts the thing and he falls, and he kind of like moves his left cheek, I believe, a little mm-hmm. bit. And thus she does react, and that makes sense because, of course, at, after the credits, of course, after the after credit scene, which we'll get right back to. You go into the hotel and everyone has unique dialogue for you. And mm-hmm. there's a letter from Sophia. So that only I thought that was fun. Oh, this is fun. Like. Reactions to what you did, but, you know, you're not really there. It's just kind of fun out of canon stuff. But in reality, I do really think now that he's alive. He's back at the hotel and he's like doing stuff. Um, Quick thing with that. So if player choose to give Geppetto's P's heart and resurrect Carlo. They will take control of him for the rest of the game. Carlo yeah, plays right. identical to Pinocchio as he has the yeah. arm. Their survivors at Hotel Krat are also oh. converted into obedient puppets and repeat the phrase, your wish is my command, Sir Carlo. What would you like to do? Yeah. I was like, whoa. Yeah, that's they they took very good care in the post slash new game post stuff, yeah. experience, which we will get to because that is what I actually want to tip my hat to at the most as they really did go an extra mile in a lot of ways. And that is one of the ways the car yeah, them, details him making the puppets out of the people <coughs> was very cool. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming Geppetto does that. Who knows? I'm assuming he makes them pup. He makes the, he makes Probably. them puppets and, and puts them up. And After like, he killed hey, you them. know, you still need them. So here you go. Yeah. But that was a that was a cool way of doing that ending. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it, it doesn't seem like Pinocchio is dead in that situation. You get the heartfelt thing, which. I thought it was beautiful reading her letter, by the way, where thank you for cutting my puppet strings. I was like, oh, my God, that's so mm-hmm. cool. like the way she writes that in these things. Um, as a reminder, you uh, the entire game, Sophia is split into both her soul and body, and she's using ergo and time to manipulate things in such a way that she can be in spots where her body actually aren't in her soul and these things. And uh, I thought it was very clever the way they justify how P can do any of this to begin with. Every time you die, she just winds back mm-hmm. time, which is mm-hmm. so cool. That is so cool that they went that like extra step of like, oh, no, no, no. You die there, but I stop it and I wind back time to a part where you're fine and you can go back in and do it again, which is like, oh, that's <laughs> sick. That is really cool. I like that. Let's see, we're now to that end credit scene you were talking about. You were yeah, about yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're done with Sophia. Let's get to, let's get the end credit scene. Of course, after the credits, we have a train scene with a side profile of someone that I did. It it took me two viewings to figure this out. I had to watch it the second time afterwards because I, yeah, I was showing my wife the ending because I knew she would like it. Of course, the nature of the ending and and all these things and what it shows at the very end. It is, uh, Egregor, I believe is his name. Egregor, Egregor, the guy that, um, has the gold coin needs the gold corn fruit. I believe that's his name. I don't I don't know if they ever gave you his name there. Did he? Yeah, he did gives they? you his name, but okay, it's not his real name. Obviously, his real name is oh, Par- Paracelsus Par- Paracelsus. Yes. Um, which, of course, is interesting because Lies of P could also work for Paracelsius because uh, <laughs> it both works as Lies of Pinocchio and Lies of Paracelsius, which is, of course, the whole game as well. Very clever from the writer mm-hmm. point of view. But he seems to be sitting there talking with someone sounds female. 
and he is discussing the Krat experiment, which, of course, Krat is the main place that we've been in the entire game. Says it went well. So whatever he wanted, some whatever he wanted to happen seems to have happened. He's on the phone with this person and he's talking. And then he says, like, oh, and I need another key. And he says, Dorothy, point, and, and it pans on a book. Don't know what that is a reference to. Maybe it's just. I think like, it's, oh, I, it's a I, book I, as I, in like, you know, just like all these things are kind of books, but like it's not meant to be direct as like, oh, she's from a fairy tale. I think it's just. Yeah, they're all, these all are from old books. Um, and then we get the scene, of course, with uh, Dorothy humming, walking along the skyline. We see Crate in the background. So she's there. So seemingly looking at things, maybe she's f- trying to figure out something or maybe she heard what was going on and went here. And then mm-hmm. she clicks her heel three times and it fades to black. Very, very good scene. Very good scene. Got mm-hmm. chills when she clicked her heel through. I was like, oh, that was yeah. really cool. I was like, oh, shit. Uh, that, was very, that was very cool. I like. I very much liked that. It's very, very, very good storytelling, I think, and throughout this whole experience. And, of course, at the very end was very cool. What did you think, of course, on the scene? I, I talked a bunch about it. What did you think? Did you like it? I think it was very cool that they made this guy oh, yeah. a secret agent the whole time. Yeah, well, it makes me want to know. I'm like, well, who's he talking to? Yeah. Like, and then, like, so his, so that's Paris. So his name is Paris. Uh, so, by the way, his name was Gian Gio. You were trying to Gian Gio. Like, I, yeah, I was Gian like, Gio. Ori, go, I knew it was like G's or, everywhere in there. <laughs> yeah. Um, but Paracels is, is talking. I was like, who the fuck? And then I was, I, I didn't recognize him. So, in the game, they make him seem like he has like very greenish blue hair. In that cutscene, I could, I thought it was gray. I couldn't tell. I I couldn't tell what color it is either because it does seem grayish green. And the only seems, way I th- it's like well, he he just it's the top hand the robe that's the only way he's like he looks the same. Yeah, that's how that. I that's how I pieced it together when I just saw it the second time I, I paused it literally and went oh my god I did not catch yeah. this the first time. Um, but yeah, once he's talking about Dorth, uh, when he was like, oh, we're uh, we're gonna need his the arm back, and I'm like, oh, that's right, he just say that too. Yeah, we're going to need the arm back. And I'm like, well, maybe that's how Geppetto got it. Geppetto was given it or he or Paracels has planted it. For him to find. And I'm like, oh, it's part of the key. I actually had a question for you with this. What arm is he speaking of? Of course, we all think of the Legion arm. Legion arm. Yeah, but there is the arm of God. Huh? There is the arm of God. Okay, or Geppetto. I, I don't, know. The only I don't thing know. I can think of Geppetto's his arm that he brought. He was able to bring the the puppet back to life. I was assuming that's a good he's point too. That's a good point. I'm too. the only one. I'm the only thing. I I I don't know. Let me see. Persos. Uh, Do they make the arm of God in Liza P? Do you know? Is that something I don't they know. can make? I'm, I'm about to look. The arm of God. The alchemists believe that there was once a god who was ripped to shreds trying to give immortal life to the humans he so loved, and they wanted to revive him. However, the god who was deep in sleep never answered their prayers. That's the uh, lore text for the arm of God when you get it after killing Simon. So that is interesting because, of course, he says in that same line that I f- we found a new way for life, eternal life. Mm-hmm. So it seems that maybe the crate experiment is tied to his experiment or these nameless people's experiment for eternal life because we do find now in that scenario that there is an experiment he needs the arm back and there is a new form of eternal life now what is that eternal life is it puppets maybe is what he's discussing there because he says that and it, it, seemingly he's looking for more uh ways of eternal life and it seems that he got what he wanted because he seemed happy. Like he didn't seem like things were bad. He even said the experiment the experiment was over and it went well. So, so we're kind somebody of has a here. Go ahead. So somebody has a theory. Uh, yes. The theory is that Paracelsus is also the real name of Button Bright, a character from Wizard of Oz, and in one of the Oz books, he married to Glinda the Good Witch, that is also a female voice on the o- that is on the other line. Oh, that's that he's right. Talking my to. wife looked this up. I completely forgot. Yes. Because he literally, yeah, that's correct. Yes, my wife told me told me this that that could be Glinda the Good Witch on the other line. Yeah, and the person was like, I didn't even think about the female voice until now. Yeah, that's a good point, and it makes sense because he's talking about Dorothy now, 
she would mm-hmm. have she would have knowledge of Dorothy. He wouldn't have to explain that. You know, he does seem to bring it up as if the other character knows about it. So it's not like new to them. It's a good point. Who was who's the theory? Yeah. Was that just a Reddit comment or something? Yeah, it was a Reddit. But somebody also said. Uh, if you listen to the message from Manini by Carlos's friend at the Stargazer, he says something along the lines of we are fighting off the puppets right now. In the end, it'll recap the main story and connect it all, which leads us to Dorothy. Also, the specter that you get to bring up in boss fights is just Carlo with or Pinocchio himself with longer hair or full and fully grown. So it it's did, it's yourself. It did, it did look like Carlo, or I wouldn't even say that. It did look like you, but with long. It, it was long gray hair. Yeah, it's so you, like you're getting more but, but, but older. Yeah, so it's like, are you? That was also interesting. Where like, who are you calling mm-hmm. there? Like, it does look. It. I I saw him one time because I was like dodging a boss fight, and like he was right next to me, and I just looked over. I was like, he looks a lot like me, and he has the long gray hair. Mm-hmm. And this was in my new game plus playthrough, and I had the gr- short gray hair, and I was looking, I'm like. They look really similar. <laughs> like, what's going on? Mm-hmm. I just didn't think about it. Wow, interesting. Interesting. Another cool thing: the Saintus statue foreshadows the end scene, which is very interesting. Mm-hmm. You see Lily the Saintus of Mercy. Them. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. the exact foreshadowing for what the woman the for holding game. a puppet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So very, yeah. very, um, very interesting. You can argue it's the opposite, where it's now a puppet holding a human. Holding a human, yeah. Uh, the, the entire time, you know, I want to mm, now, oh God, we have so much to, to cover. Um, let's let's jump into. Talk a little bit more about the, anything you want to close out with the end credit scene before we move on. I think we pretty much covered it pretty thoroughly. Yeah, no, I think we're good. I mean, we just we it, it, it's just it doesn't give us much. Pretty I much. mean, we know for sure. Wizard of Oz is going to be the next one. You were at, wondering about the you were wondering about the books. I'm wondering the book that shows up on his that shows on this desk or whatever. Yeah, there's two of them. It's yeah. So one of them is green yes. and it has the one underneath one is green and it looked like it was the, the back of a lion or like body almost. Mm. It almost looked like a lion. So I don't know. Um, I, And like I'm assuming the top one is this world like Pinocchio. There and then the e- bottom one is Wizard of Oz, like Emerald City, as some people call it. Yeah, Emerald City, of course. is. That's why it's green in my head, I'm thinking. Maybe. Um, I did see that there is... If this could be fun Easter egg stuff, so who knows. But there is a fun thing in World where there's an Easter egg in the library where Antonia is. If you read one of the books on the bookshelf, it's a Easter egg for Pinocchio. It's the, He says there's a mm-hmm. fairy tale that everyone knows that about... It's about yeah. a kid that's lying and all these things. And mm-hmm. he, his nose grows. So it's a pretty direct... Easter egg, but maybe it's meant to correlate to this or something. I, I don't yeah. know. Maybe these are all really fairy tales or something or something. You know, who knows yeah. how crazy this gets? This could get insane where like this is a world creative itself. I do find it interesting that there was the work word uh, worksmith um, lady. She's from the east. Um, there's also like light Wizard of Oz references there with, of course, mm-hmm. like Wicked Witch of the West and all these things. Um, mm-hmm. She's from there. She has no memory of coming from there, which is interesting. So like, was her memory wiped or something purposely? Who knows? I I, that, I thought I found that was interesting. Of course, she has the story of she was saved by Ali Doro in the. Um, oh, my God. Uh, in the t- in a tower. I think it was on a fire or something. And she, she had like a, a, a thing of like, yeah, Eldora saved my life. And then you find out later. He's secretly Shrek. Brother. He's secretly Shrek. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, I saw Ali Doro was. Um, and of course, he loses a finger there. And that's a clue that Ali Doro is lying. And it's funny is um, how this game's theming of lying is everywhere. Like the entire game is about lying. Right. We have mm-hmm. Ali Doro lying because he's not really Ali Doro. He is his. He was his, I guess you could say, um, sell, part, uh, partner. He was, his, that, he was his partner. That and then he sold some antiques, and he was going to get cut off, so he killed him. Then took his identity. We mm-hmm. have Sophia lying the entire time. Sophia's my major motivation is you getting her saved by killing her. She doesn't yeah. really. She even admits she didn't care about anyone else. 
She didn't care about the puppets. She didn't care about the people, really. She just wanted to be rid of this because, uh, in her words, it was quite painful to to be in her situation, uh, being mm. separated from body and soul. She, of course, amends that later in the game, saying, like, I'm actually invested now. I want you to complete this. Yeah. So, you know, there's a lie there. Geppetto, of course, lying the entire game. You lie throughout the entire game. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's very few people who aren't technically lying. I mean, I think Vanini doesn't lie. That's pretty much it. And then the workshop girl doesn't lie. Antonia doesn't seem to lie. So, but a lot of the major characters are yeah. continuously lying over and over again, which is very fun and have an interesting theming throughout the game of just constant lies and being that something very human, as all these people who are lying to you are human. Let's go to a quick detour because I really liked this character. Um, although I don't know if other people like him, I liked him a lot. Although he's clearly kind of a ripoff, uh, I liked the King of Riddles, uh, which of course is a oh yeah, you yeah, find yeah, yeah. out throughout the game. You you see these phone rings, pick them up. You listen. He he's mm-hmm. like you know oh if, riddle me this. R- he literally says riddle me this, which I like. okay. literally <laughs> he literally has the Joker voice and mannerisms with the Riddler uh-huh. tone of how he riddles people. That's how I. That's he how he I just saw him. acts like the Arkham City Riddler. Like he just acts like the Arkham Riddler. To me, he was a more jokery f- way of a speaking bit, yeah. than a Riddler way of speaking because he he had a deep guttural violency part to him versus like he really just likes the riddle. He just likes. I sound like he just wanted to be mm-hmm. kind of fuck with you a little bit. Uh, yeah, but he. Uh, does all the riddles you, you you find them at the end of the game we can skip you know the riddles were pretty they were pretty direct with which one they wanted you to be right uh, sure. <laughs> the only time they i think is really left to interpretation of is if is geppetto a killer uh which is the last question or last riddle of the game and of course the correct answer is yes but you can say no and mm-hmm. you get the um i guess if you get it wrong you get a box anyways of um uh, I, did you ever get one wrong in quotes? For the riddles? Yeah. Um, I don't think so. So if you answer no to the final riddle, I'm guessing that is not technically the correct answer because I got, I got a box that was the surprise box. And when you open it, you take a little bit of damage and you get full decay. Oh, no, I never I so, didn't do that. So it looks like wherever you answer, you get the key regardless. It's just yeah. fun. Um, and that's the only time I ever got one wrong in quotes. I said no because I didn't. I was like, what? I, I, I was like, well, no, he's not a killer. But that it makes sense, of course, why the answer is supposed to be yes, because he is a killer. But that was just some random dude. I wasn't about to be like, yeah, he is. Mm-hmm. So you get the final key. You find him. He's a completely destroyed uh, puppet just in the Isle of Alchemists hooked up mm-hmm. to some sort of, I guess the machinery like there. The and he pretty much says like, yeah, I've been using this to, uh, I've been using this to, to control the, the, um, telephones and these things. And he pretty much like, yeah, I know. And by the way, I'm the puppet that killed Vanini's parents. Cause of course, Vanini's parents were killed when he was a child. And that, yeah. Or like, or like, Arle- 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 is his name. Arlecchino. Oh, the yeah, the puppet's name? Yeah, the king, yeah, yeah, yeah. Arle- king, yeah. Arlecchino. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Arlecchino, he was the one behind the, the murder puppets. He gives you a toy to show to Vanini, which is so dark. He's like, yeah, I mm-hmm. kept this. Um, And the only reason he didn't kill him was he wanted to see what would happen, which is, again, a very Joker thing. Like, this guy is the Joker. Like, he was like, yeah, I wanted to see what would happen. Would he become a a vengeful puppet killing stalker when, you know, and, and he got his aunt, you know, he got to experiment and see what would happen. Gives you yeah. this toy. Uh, did you kill him? Or like, you know, yes, I did too. I, I was like, yeah. yeah, you're dead, dude. You're psychotic. <laughs> so by the way, have... the whole, the whole time, quick thing, the, the little lamp that you carry in like on your yeah. side, Jiminy did not know that was Jiminy. Oh, really? The whole game was not. <laughs> did not know that was Jiminy. I thought Jim, I thought Jiminy was like kind of like Cortana. I thought he was like in my head. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought he was like a puppet or some type of th- robot thing in my ear or some shit. I was not aware that Jiminy was literally the 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 fucking he was, thing. He was in he was inside a, the lantern. 
cricket cage or whatever you want to call it, lantern. Whatever. Yeah, it just says a, it says a cricket who resides in the lantern. I missed that completely. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He he was in he was in there. Of course, you can turn it on for light. I completely forgot that was a mechanic in the game. I when I did New Game Plus, they were like, turn uh-huh. on the light, and I used it. And I was like, it wow, is... there's a lot of parts in the games I should have been using this because there's a few parts where it's hard to yeah. see. I, sh- I should have well, used it. More. So when you die or if you go to if you fast travel, sometimes it turns off and doesn't yeah. stay on. I noticed. So that was yeah. Gotta return it on every time. Mm-hmm. So, uh, the red fox Jim... and the black cat thing was pretty cool too. Oh yes, yes. You, you of course you find the red fox and black cat throughout the game. They are scamming you in quotes the entire time. They're messing with you, mm-hmm. playing with you throughout the entire game. Like yeah, haha. You know, do this and you do the thing. I I I played along every time. There's one where uh, uh you can buy black cat's book that's like. Got it looks like a bite is taken out of it or something. And I bought it mm-hmm. for fun, see what would happen. He makes fun of you and says there's no refunds when you read it. Um the second one where they, they'll help you through Moose Muslim district. They'll walk with oh, you. The Malum the, the Malum Malum. District. I said Muslim, Jesus Christ. Malum district. They help you, you they'll fight with you and stuff. I thought that was kind of cool. Although they mm-hmm. they were like, haha, that was a trick. I was like, what did you I, that was the only time I was like, what did you trick with you with it? You helped fight. It was a so trick. I, no, oh no! At at the end, he the black cat. He's like, oh, I'm oh, I'm tired. I'm that's have to like, right. Yeah, that have, was the yeah. Trick. He he sits down. He's like, oh, I'm out of breath. Yeah, uh, I was like, like, you have to go on without. You have to go. Yeah. Okay, that makes. Yeah. Me, I I completely. Okay, that makes. I think sense. later on he says he he like he tricked us or whatever. No, but... yeah, yeah. It's when they're up there. It's like thanks for clearing the way, and then they go away. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, that was weird. Uh, and then we, you kill the the brotherhood, <laughs> which was an interesting fight. I didn't have too too much trouble with them, and we should get to bosses soon too, because because I, I I would love to talk about the bosses, but of course that's where you get the portrait and that's a little section. But I love the black cat. So your first playthrough, you actually told me you uh, you had to kill one of them or both of them. I don't remember. But I killed both. I had uh, I had yeah I killed one and the other one made me. I would, uh, I would imagine don't... so. They were pretty upset. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. So I didn't know that I was gonna have to need a gold fruit coin. Yeah. For both of them, to get, yeah, for both of them. So I got you know I did everything. I was gonna save them or like not fight them. I get to him. He's like, oh, I'll let you be if you give me a coin. I'm like, fuck. And I was like, I don't have one. And it literally just says step back or attack. And I'm like, all right then, here we go. I fought him. Pretty easy fight. Yeah, yeah. I imagine uh, they were the red. Easy. The red fox was actually a little bit more tedious. A little like she she was more aggressive. So, but mm. I got her too. She and she was pissed off. She was like, "All I want is revenge." Yeah, I would imagine she was pretty mad at you, Alex. <laughs> you yeah. killed her oh, brother. He attacked me. He was like, <laughs> <"Greedy> little bitch. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. She should have really sat down and thought about it. Yeah, uh, right. I did not. Looking so I had ass. I had the gold coin fruit, and I gave it to them, and they were uh, the. So the child was like, "Hey, thanks." Uh, he was a little more snide about it. He was like. You know, maybe your game I trust. Not quite yet, though. I'm a cat. You know, mm-hmm. we're hard to trust or whatever. And he goes off mm-hmm. somewhere. And apparently he's trying to see. Uh, and that's what he's using, the gold coin fruit. Uh, he's trying to keep his eyesight. He's losing his eyesight, apparently. And the Red Fox wanted the same thing. She wanted a gold coin fruit. It's like, hey, give me a, co- a, a coin. And I'll let you go pretty much in a snide way. And I gave it to her. And she's like, yeah, you know, I don't know why we were mad at you. You're the only one that was nice to us this entire time. <laughs> I was like, yeah. What? yeah, why were you? I don't know. You were a dick for no reason. And they wanted oh, yeah. to leave. Uh, and they were very vague. They need to leave to see. And they are hoping to find a cure for his eyesight. Don't know where that is. Maybe they're going to. Where is it? Ross? I don't know. Uh, maybe they're going to the east or something. Probably not because you know I killed them. So <laughs> in your playthrough, you won't see them. I guess I will. Yeah. But of course. Oh, and then after that, Cepedo, yeah, Black Cat. We we talked about all that. I did like the. Uh, uh, this is a quick one. I don't have much to say about it. But the White Lady was very cool. Just that boss fight. Mm-hmm. She just seemed cool. Yeah, I liked her. Did you get her yeah. little backstory? You talking? About, I I know she was the sister of the one in the red she dress. She was the sister. So she was. Um, yeah. So she was doing plays with Adelina. Um, mm-hmm. the, uh, and Adelina became um, jealous Didn't of her she voice. Become... Mm-hmm. And she was getting upset that uh, uh, she was getting a voice that she could never reach is, her, is what she says, I believe. So she mm-hmm. poisoned her. She poisoned a drink and destroyed her voice. And uh, she quit being a uh, 
actor and became a stalker instead. And Adelina mm-hmm. tells you that if you give her the apple and, and like, you know, let me confess my sins before I die. I I did that to my sister and I, I and she was like kind of stricken with it and, and uh, upset that she ended up doing it. But she poisons her sister, which is pretty sick. Uh, yeah. pre- pretty messed up character. But um, and then, of course, she dies after uh, after that, because I think she was succumbing to the petrification or maybe she was dying to something else. I don't know. Or maybe she killed herself. Unclear. She was just. She was in a puddle of blood, I believe, when I found her. So I was like, it looks like she killed herself. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. I, in my head, I'm just like, I, oh, cool. We gave her a poisoned apple. <laughs> yeah, there's poison in this. You just throw it at her head. Um, mm-hmm. That's pretty much all I have for her. I just liked that fight. Um, I liked that the experiment guy referenced that. Very good in world things. I think they really did a good job creating this kind of world that we felt like we existed in because there was constant references to things. There was the guy um, that was like crazy underneath the house and he was obsessed with Adelina and he was like, what was her name? My love, what was her name? And he, he I guess he was uh, in love with Adelina when you kill him. He's like, that's right. It was Adelina and he dies. Um, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. And there was the. um what was what was his thing the the survivor remember him the guy who lived through one of the attacks and he ran from his commander uh and he's the sole survivor of his little stalker group and you find him near the this is i believe one of the beginning of the game and he's just called the survivor and you kill him cuz cuz uh he doesn't want you to leave or no he, no he notices you're a puppet i think He's like, I have to kill puppets to like avenge him, the, and he's like crying the whole time, saying like, "Why did I Is leave?" Is that the I dude that was in the in Vanini Works? The yes. mouse guy. Yes, and he's like yes. going crazy, and he's like, yep, 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 oh, yep, "All yep, puppets yep. must die." Yeah, that dude. Maybe. I don't Maybe. Know, I There's so many that. other random ones. There's Here, of course I the have... weasel guy. Fuck it. Oh, yep. Fucking dude. The weird, yep. the weird I have weasel one. Characters right here. He seemed out of nowhere. That just seemed like someone they put there. Uh, survivor MPC. Yeah, survivor is a hostile. Yeah, and MP- yeah, the mouse guy is a survivor okay, guy. That is that is the guy. Yeah, and he's like all puppet might die every single yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, he's freaking out the whole time. White lady mm-hmm. is the same thing because she thinks that the puppets killed her sister, which of course they didn't. She is still alive and well in her estate. Well, not well, mm-hmm. I guess, but she's alive in the estate. And uh, she thinks yeah. the puppets killed her sister, which they didn't. And what's funny is it doesn't seem she she knows that she was poisoned by her. Uh, and there was mm-hmm. a rumor that she did it herself, which is quite interesting. Uh, and and uh, back to my original point, I do like that they do constantly reference the world. Of course, with the experiment that you save, was it six to eight? Oh, um, yeah, eight to, test subject eight to six. Eight to six. Thank you. I was <laughs> I was close. My dyslexia fucked me there. Um, <laughs> and. <laughs> You talk, you talk to him, of course, and he was like, oh, I just want to get out of here, and you can free him after. He's you like, yeah, I'm sick of consuming Ergo. Uh, yeah, he's like, I don't want to eat anymore, and he looks, I mean, he looks like a mess. Uh, you yeah. let him go. He goes to Rosa Isadora Street. Is that how you pronounce it? I believe it is. Rosa right? Isabel. Isabel Street. And Rosa he, Isabel Street, yeah. And you go there, and he's like, oh, you know, I, I always loved Adelina, or, or I didn't, I guess, like, my memories did, like, he mm-hmm. he got memories from the ergo he was eating so he he, yeah. he was saying like oh i remember the the wine and how it tastes i remember what all these things but i wasn't here for any of that it's all the ergo talking to me it's mm. very interesting i liked his that random character and in the end of the game so easy to miss i wouldn't have uh found him if i wasn't looking for the achievements for the game because i needed him mm-hmm. uh for something i think an, an outfit i looked up like i wanted an outfit technically not an achievement but I wanted something and he had it. Mm -hmm. Of course. So I went and grabbed him and that was uh, a fun, a fun little thing. There's a lot of fun little things. The ciphers, another thing that were very fun. I always had fun finding them there. The first one was great. And of course I have a little Easter egg here from the first one. Where did I put that? So the, of course, two, two, one B is the apartment you need to go to in the first clue of the cryptic vessels. That is actually a reference to Sherlock Holmes. Cause that is the exact same number in the uh, Sherlock Holmes days in the Sherlock Holmes novels. It's a very fun little thing yeah. to see, but the cryptic vessels I very liked. I liked the, um, there were these, these little side things that you could go do sometimes like, Oh, you know, find this. I did like that. They had a little indicator next to an, uh, an area. If there was an event there, I liked that. Yeah, if there was, yeah. 
you didn't have like to go there and be, and be paranoid because I am one of those people. I'm paranoid. Did I I'll miss constantly it? go I places. In this area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I have to go there soon. Let me go there now. See if so, you know that was that was nice. I, I like that I didn't have to guess uh, or or someone like yeah. very plainly has to scream at me like, by the way, go here. And, and like, <laughs> you know, at this time when you kill that um, one person I missed on my first playthrough, I didn't even know existed, Alex Bell. Oh, yeah. The Bell character. So I yeah. got her in my second playthrough. Uh, she was necessary for uh, something. I don't remember what it was. I think a record. Oh, record. She has a record I needed for an achievement. Mm -hmm. Am I crazy here? Is that Bell from the obvious property? Uh, I don't think so. OK, we were in the fairy tale land. I was like, is this meant to be a dark Bell? Of course, hey, the person she's in love with is a beast. He's a he's a literal beast made of yeah. uh, infected in these things. Uh, so I thought that was quite interesting. I was like, is this meant to be Beauty and the Beast? Literally, see. like her name is Belle. Her partner, which you later find out is not her partner. It's her literal lover and partner, I guess, at the same time. Mm. But, you know, they are very, very close and entwined. And you can lie and say he died, which he he asks you to do. Yes, he's like, hey, yeah. you need to go back. You need to lie for me, bro. <laughs> like, like, tell mm -hmm. her I am dead. Yeah, Atkinson. Yes, Atkinson. Thank you for reminding me of the name. And he go and you go back and you can tell her you can lie or tell her. No, I lied again. I, I needed the achievement, so I didn't get to choose. <laughs> so I needed the, yeah. the record. So I just said, yeah, you know, he's dead. But yeah, don't worry about him. Give me the <laughs> give me the record. <laughs> give me the record. <laughs> But that was a, that was another cool. Uh, there's so many little characters. I can't, and I can't believe I missed a whole hotel character too with missing that. But it was very nice finding him this time. Any uh, anything little like that you want to grab before we move on? Um, I'm trying to think because I was trying to go through like the different Easter eggs. There's one. I don't know if you saw it. Um, I had to look it up to make sure I had it right. There's a portrait of P. So at a certain point in the game, you can collect uh, quartz. Consulting uh, the description of the object, uh, we can read. There, like uh, next to Geppetto stuff, there's a thing that you can read, and there it says that the author is D. Gray, the famous painter Dorian Gray. Oh, okay. Yeah, of course it's I referenced to Dorian that. Gray's main character of the book, the picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, and it's yeah, it's like um, you can see that like behind him is just. Uh, so I guess something that's similar to his thing. Hmm. Okay. Uh, the, uh, there therefore seems to be a nice parallel with the story of a young adult who locked his soul in a painting, giving up one's uh, humanity. That condition it presumably shares the protagonist. That makes that makes sense because that's the same deal with here. They, the person mm -hmm. said that the that they gave a soul to the painting, and that's a, mm -hmm. a, a reason why the na the nose can grow. Mm -hmm. um, another fun one, which isn't really an Easter egg because it's in your face. Um, the you can read it two ways. Um, a monstro Easter egg in quote, not really Easter oh, egg reference yeah. or uh, in, a, uh, I believe in the original Pinocchio, I, I was reading this. There is a shark dog thing that eats him. It's not like a monstro character and it looks more shark like. So you can read it that way as well, but it's also mm -hmm. big and long like a whale. So I think it's kind of a reference to both of them, if I'm being honest, because it li very much looks like a big whale the way it's like this very long thing. Of course, it looks like a submarine, but it just the way it kind of looks kind of reminds me of what a whale would look like. And of course, it has that big teeth shark like uh, yeah. uh, feature. Well, yeah, the, the that submarine has. was a, was a shark. Uh, and, and, yeah, well, cool. not literally, but yes, it it, it was. Well, no, no, I'm saying like, it, like, it, like at first when I was looking, I was like, oh, it's a whale. And I'm like, wait a minute, no, it's not, because like yeah, the yeah. fin, the way the fin is, then like literally you can see the teeth and the eyes in the front. It's, it yeah, I, I still think it's a reference to both, but uh, yeah, it's it's very no, no, for it's sure. more it's... A shark than a whale for sure. Yeah. Let's see, talk about that. Oh, and he does say, um, we skipped this. I forgot. He said he says a new brother. He has a new brother. Um, uh. Prayer Celius at the very end credit scene. Uh, mm. I'm assuming he's talking about Pinocchio. What does that mean? Who knows? Who is Prayer Celius? Why does he see him as a brother? I don't know. But just interesting. A little more things where it's like, hmm, I don't know what that is technically. Yeah. Miss. I have a bunch of notes here. I'm just making sure I got there everything. Oh, how did you deal with Polydenia and 
Antonio. Oh, his love for Antonio. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I forget. I forget his actual. I think. But he's about, he's trying to say his. Yeah, Paulin Paulandina, and then the other the other yeah. guy is Polsanella. Yeah, yeah. Is so, the butler. So, how did you deal with the the two romance between him and Antonia? Of course, I mean, they were. He had feelings. He would never tell her. He says because she's no, like, sure. he's like she's too old. Like she won't take this. Very but I told him it, it. I so I told him it, it. I mean, love who you love. Pretty much, it's possible. Yeah, yeah. I showed him the ring. Was like, I mean, because yeah, the whole point in uh, for in my in, like how I was playing, I'm the puppet trying to be human. So yeah, you know, yeah. why can't you do the same? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was pretty much the same kind of mindset where I was like, I know I'm playing this as Pinocchio doing what he's supposed to do, which is clearly that he is meant to be a human. He's meant to act like a human, I guess I should say, mm-hmm. in this world. Like th- that is how the the world and the game is set up. He's meant to act and become like a human so that's what that's what i was doing that's another thing i was like well yeah a human would do this the same way where when antonio was like is there any beauty left uh you know and if, and you can lie which is it's seen as a lie you can say of course it is or you can say like no there's no resemblance and you know there's all these all i love that there's little white lies in throughout the game uh of course when you ask people like would you know do you lie and a lot of people would say no i, I don't lie and it's like oh okay so you would say like this person, you know, in this scenario, you would say she doesn't look anything like that portrait anymore. And like, eh, you probably wouldn't. So you, you are, yeah, okay I don't with lying. Say that. <laughs> you are okay with lying to some degree and, and all these things. So I do. I liked the, those, those uh, two little people. And um, I think my favorite thing though, the, like as of like the little side quest was the Ali Doro and the weapon Smith, e- Eugenia, Eugene, uh-huh. not Eugene, sorry, Eugenia. How do you pronounce your name? Eugenie, Eugenie, thank you, Jesus. Christ. Like like I'm you like you, today. Like, Eugene, like Eugene, but it would Eugen, Eugenie. Yeah, Eugenie. So yeah. she doesn't have her memory. She remembers Ali Doro saving her, but of mm. course he was in a getup in these things, so she doesn't know that he is faking. Um, I kept missing the clues. I have to be completely honest with you, Alex. I was pretty stupid this entire quest line. Uh giving him the four finger glove and being like, ah, it doesn't fit. I, the whole time I was like, oh, he's pretending like, he's just like, nah, you know, I, it doesn't fit. I don't like it. You know, trying to like make her like not make it a big deal that he saved her. But mm. I completely misread the entire situation. Uh, I did not figure it out until he betrayed us. And I was like, so he was actually not Alidor though. I was like, God, damn. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. keep, yeah. So I keep saying I, her was dead. <laughs> yeah. The actual one. Uh, which was very cool the way they do it. He, he, you know, you confront him. He's like, <laughs> I love his reaction. He's like, I didn't think you'd kill them all. <laughs> like he was like freaking out, like, oh my god, you just killed all four of them. Um, yeah. He, he and he's saying there, he's like, <laughs> and I, I, I guess I just found maybe a slight error. Um, he says, um, you can't hurt me, but he did just watch you kill four people. So that that was interesting. Uh, mm-hmm. or maybe he didn't see and just says like, how'd you get by them? I don't remember, but I don't know. I remember when you attack him, he's like, hi, you won't kill me. Um, and I was, and I was like, yeah, I will. <laughs> you just stab him. And I do like, you can go and tell Eugenie about this whole situation. Like, oh, you know, uh, that was your brother the whole time, by the way, uh, <laughs> which is quite interesting. It seems like you want to say something. I was reading something cause, uh, um, Paris, Paracelsus still fucking me up. I didn't know that apparently you can do this Um, after you do the real boy ending. The if you refuse to start new game plus and you go to where he normally is, he would have disappeared and left behind a letter with a sign off of the initials PP. According to the Ouroboros I weapon description, PP may indicate Philippus Paracelsus, which is the chemist's. Or apparently in in this, it's the the known alchemist or whatever for all the uh, like one of the, he's like he's like he's he's like a legend in the alchemist place. Is he's not the founder, is he? I can't I, remember the the name. I of the don't founder. remember if that was him. Um, but it says right here, PP may indicate Philippus Paracelsus. The same at the end of the credits. Uh, who is who is Paracelsus? He is the chemist in real life. Who is often associated with alchemy and fiction? Some anime fans may not, might might know him better from his original last name, Honheim. And I I looked up that name, and that's the dude in uh, Full Metal Alchemist. I don't know. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. 
Yeah. <laughs> I need to just keep watching that show. I started watching that. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to like I was just trying to see more about him because I because I read something where it's like, hey, oh, he's the he's the chemist or whatever or the al- like a known alchemist. So he's just a famous. Yeah, he's not the known one because the the original one is some other name. I think it starts with an A, the founder of the alchem- alchemists. So I don't think that's him, but I did not know that. I did see mm-hmm. initials PP somewhere because I did read the Orbital. Oh, here text, it is. He, but... Yeah, he said it just says Philippus was the legend even amongst the alchemists. Yeah. OK, so he's some sort of legend that we don't know. Yeah. So he's just known. It's kind of so, like Merlin. You know, Merlin's known for being he's, like he's a, a wizard. Guy. Yeah. Yeah. Let's Interesting. Barry, um, to kind of round out our discussions Pretty much everything we've discussed narratively, I, I'm pretty satisfied with. So I wanted to ask this question simply to kind of close out. Um, was P a puppet or a human? Take that as you will. Are you asking me? Yes. No, Alex, I'm asking who else, man. So P, I'm assuming in my head, P was intended to be a puppet. But I think when he was brought to life by Sophia's ergo, it made him a human. Mm. So it, it's like the blue fairy thing. Like, you know, he as soon it's like once he was born, he's like, I have feelings. I have like, this is how I am. He doesn't act like a put, but he doesn't go by the rules because that's not he wasn't turned on. Yeah, he as wasn't, a puppet, he wasn't given the Grand Covenant because Geppetto. He says this during the fight. He doesn't want. He didn't want Carlo bound by the Grand Covenant because he has his memories and all yeah. these things. Yeah, and that's why. And that 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 was Geppetto's fuck up in the first place. Uh, I don't think he's he not, could yeah, give it to him though, right? Yeah, no, because they would have fucked up the heart. And I think when Sophia brought him to life, Gepe- I mean, Carlo's heart kept him human. So uh, if anything, I feel like we were Carlo the whole time. <laughs> so not P. So that actually gets closer to something I wanted to say. So <clears throat> the way I read the narrative and what I think we're supposed to feel by the end of the game, and we're making this choice with Geppetto and something that Geppetto fails to see is when we start the game, we are clearly a puppet, right? We are there. We're sitting as a puppet. Something happens that makes us something more. And we can argue that, uh, and this is where we get into AI and feelings. And if do mm-hmm. other, are other puppets human and, you know, cause do they have desires, which seems like they do. Paul and Dina is in love with someone. And, um, the other Butler puppet, it, uh, says that he's been kind of cognitive, cognitive ever since his parents have been killed. Um, uh, mm. Vinici's parents have been killed so we're all dealing with these puppets showing more human natures than they're supposed to so it's almost like they are kind of having an awakening but I think what's slightly different in the situation that he finds himself in P is he has all this special properties about him it seems like he might have a human heart in him that has been augmented in such a way that is not a human heart but it is, it's maybe has flesh and bone in it, or sorry, not flesh and bone, it's a heart. It just flesh in it, I don't know. Maybe there's something unique in him that's happening all this happened. Maybe the Ergo's doing this. Maybe it's the unique composition of Carlo's Ergo being inside of the heart, and then her mm-hmm. turning back the time that, and everything you experience throughout the game is is giving you more and more of that Ergo that is turning you into a person. I th- I thought the way I interpreted it is by the end of the game, you're clearly human. You're clearly turning human throughout the whole game. Well, and by the end of it, you are Carlo. And Geppetto doesn't see that he already does have his son back. He yeah. doesn't have to do anything else. He he did it. He, he, he did what he meant to do. And I think he actually sees that when you get the true ending and when he is when dying true ending, yeah. and he does say son, finally, he, I think he does kind of come. Yeah. He realized I did have, the whole time. I did have what I wanted. I got Carlo. I got our er- Carlos Ergo in his heart. I was able to kind of do this thing. And I was, he was blinded by this love and mission that he had that he didn't realize he already got his son back. Yeah. It's a very beautiful story. When you think about it that way, I think. 
Mm-hmm. Alex, I think that's just about everything I want to discuss in this spoiler cast. I wanted to do a little quick fun fact while we close everything down. Um, director uh, Xiao Zhuan states that the game has been in development for about three years ish. Uh, the studio chose the theme of the game around Pinocchio to uh, appeal to a wider fan base. So apparently they already had an entire thing created, but they were like, mm-hmm. hey, if we are able to work in the fairy tale, maybe we're able to get more people in. And he notes that the original story was much darker and had diverse backgrounds that the staff could use. Uh, they chose to mm-hmm. set the game in a belle equé like a environment to quote, encapsulate a city's transformation from opulence to ruin and convey, quote, a period of unparalleled cultural and artistic prosperity, yet severe darkness and negativity, end quote. Hmm. Very cool. Little little peek behind the curtain of how they came. Yeah, I did re- read that they had this original plan, that it was all going to be original stuff. But at uh, part way through development, they were just like, maybe we get more people in if we switch to this the kind of fairy tale Pinocchio thing. And that's mm-hmm. what they did. very cool and always very interesting when you find out things. Yeah, uh, it was especially like, like I love new IPs, things like that, like with or like new ideas. But like when you incorporate something that people already like enjoy, like I like Pinocchio. Some people hate the story; they don't they they think it's creepy. They don't like it. I enjoy just Pinocchio in general. So like, and then like seeing it being told in a different way here got me excited so i'm like oh i can't wait to see you know the monster if there's gonna be a monster easter egg the the fox you know is it gonna be in here or like you know where's the fairy oh sophia's the fairy that's cool so like it just it brought me up a more excited i would argue this is uh even though it 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 takes so much from other things Mm. i think the way it does it is very original although i think many yeah. people would argue it's like well no it's not very original in, in a lot of aspects i would argue it's much more original than most original games that i play right like mm-hmm. you can be generic what's a bit you know there's there's genericism and then there's uh in an inspirational thing and as long as you know how to to balance inspiration and originality in such a way i think you can nail it and i think this game nails it i do think it got very close to being something that could be classified as a knockoff or something that pushes the line but i think it had a lot of things going for it that pushed it past a knockoff or something that you would give a more derogatory term is i think this game nailed it in almost every way and i think it's close to pretty much just being a must play that everyone should really touch i i very much love this i very very rarely immediately play a game very rarely i don't do that normally i i'm no stranger to replaying games but i mm-hmm. very rarely immediately start the next playthrough and i quite did and i, I and i was having fun i held well and it, uh sprint the whole time and ran through the game and got as much mm-hmm. as i could upgraded my guy more got to like level 100 and oh my god i don't remember 35 I ended, or something I ended new game i ended new game plus at 171 Maybe I was 150 or 160 then. I can't quite remember. We were, I think I was like 10 head of the level. You're yeah, usually like 10, 10 level, above me. Yeah. Usually. Yeah. Because I just eat, ate all those herbs. You ate everything. I, I hoarded. Not hoarded. I, I, I would should always... have hoarded so I could have gotten the weapon thing beforehand. But I was like, I have to do New Game Plus anyways. So I I used every boss ergo for a weapon or an amulet. And I already was in the mindset of of re, not replaying the game immediately, but I, at mm-hmm. some point playing the game. So I was like, I, I'll need to do this again anyways. Um, so I did did all that. Um, so I always use burst ogos for items, and then mm-hmm. ergos I usually let them stockpile, and I would either top off another level up, or I would use it to buy things. So like, oh, you know, I want to use all my ergo for a level up, and then I would sell ergo to then be able to buy some items i need uh the Mm. the the catalysts the magazines the restoratives that take off the attribute status effects and all you know those little things throwables for like the very last nameless puppet fight achievers i can't tell you enough how much of a trouble i was having with that boss fight alice gave me ideas like yeah i'm gonna be using throwables like literally i'm decking out my character with all throwables i had been at that fight for probably two hours i don't know how long it was it was it was a while mm. and then you said use throwables very next fight killed him 
I was oh how I wanted to make and out with Alex. I was so yes. fucking happy. I was so I was like, dude, oh and then my I try god. And I'm stuck on there for till 3 a.m. and I'm yeah. like, oh my god. I'm so done. I look, I be in the game. I don't know if I need these last achievements. I'm I'm done. I needed Come that thousand. To, dude, it was haunting me all night. I bet I it literally was. I I looked at yours and I was like, this motherfucker did it. I gotta yep. do it. Look, yep. I gotta do it. It was like, I look, I was tired. I'll give it half the day tomorrow. I'm a chill. Nap time comes in. A fucking uh, a video pops up and I was like, oh, he's doing Nameless Puppet. I was, I'm going to check it out. He's literally doing the dash, dodge, slow dodge. I'm like, why is he not going so fast? Like, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a, a quote from Andy, patient Pete. Ah, Patient Andy Pete. Cortez from twitch.tv slash Andy Cortez. Patient Pete. I literally, that's all I needed. Literally, I thought of Patient Pete. Literally, I just, as soon as I saw him charge at me, bloop, sidestep, poke, poke, back up, electrify, fa. All right, he's coming at me, block, poke, poke, back up, heal, back up. <laughs> I literally was second or third try. Got him. Nice. Oh, my God. It's so satisfying, too. And literally, I could see him, and I'm like, it's like the 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 Tobey Maguire Spider Man slow mo punch thing. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was Matrix like, oh my God, kind I, of thing. I like, see the swing. I I see the code. <laughs> I see yeah. I see so it all. I was like as soon as it happened, I was like I literally finished it. I was like I'm done. Yep. Very, I, when, very good. Yeah. So what I did was um loaded up with throwables. Uh, and again, I I wouldn't say this game was hard. I would say it was. It's it, just it, there was term times where it was just tedious. Uh, there were times where it was difficult. I would say, but mm-hmm. it was not like up there with hard games. Like, yeah. I, like I don't. I wouldn't say this was a Dark Souls one, two, or three. Like, there's those are a lot of those situations that you you can name like Ornstein and Smog and these things where mm-hmm. I really back in the day had a lot of trouble with them. Now I could do them in my sleep, but back then, like I, I would just well, get destroyed. Back of those games, yeah. like you can literally just go light your blade on fire. You can kill everything pretty easily each boss. Like, but the same thing, this game, you're like, okay, carcasses, fire, humans, acid. You know, you need to use those things for those items, and then it will help. Yeah. Like, and, I uh, used fire for Name as Puppet, wasn't doing shit. I, like, oof. I was tossing throwables out and i already had the upgrade mm-hmm. i believe i had like six or seven throwables each thing or something like that mm-hmm. and what was very effective was uh, you told me to use them impact grenades or whatever it was where you would throw them and on the, the ground it would cluster yeah thank you yeah and, and it I, goes yeah yeah, yeah. And it, and it kind of messed them up it kind of like made him sit there for a second and i'm just lobbing lobbing mm-hmm. throwables at him the moment he would be like oh i need to attack I, i'm running running go, <laughs> go to the other side throwing throw, throw just throw in that took like maybe half his health off with all those throwables because I never used throwables th- literally throughout the entire mm-hmm. game. I think I used them. I think I equipped it one time at one specific part of the game because I was out of Legion ammo and I was like, okay. let me throw a shock cell at this thing and I threw it to kill it because I it would like hit me. By the way, this game loves hitting you and making you fall. This game oh my lo- God. loves that. You could tell the de- the level designers and enemy designers lo- they're like oh they're gonna walk here man put the guy with the gun right here and have him shoot at him with easy <laughs> <one>. they <laughs> do they love it they love it that's why i loved my falcon eye by the way i used one legion uh-huh. arm both playthroughs never anything yeah. else legion arm every single playthrough the one Damn. with the gun it was a gun i just shot wow. my gun the, uh, the falcon eye my falcon eye yeah, yeah. i just shot yeah, a I gun used, at everyone i used the flame and the electric the whole time Yep, you seem to enjoy those a lot too. The electric one was my favorite. Yeah, it, it, is there a reason? It's just bonus damage. I just enjoy. Yeah, yeah, I just enjoyed the way it was. I mean, it was kind of slow, but like for like the damage, the motivity, like where it was, like I brought like through New Game Plus, I brought my advance like to or uh, my advance to like thirty something. Nice. And it was like damage was like one seventy, and then it says plus three, almost four hundred. Yeah, yeah. And Very I was nice. just like, I'm just going to use this. I'm, I was like, as long as the dude, I can dodge the dude, I can hold it and go, bah, I, I would do 1,400 damage in one blast. Nice. Yeah, it was it was pretty strong. I liked my little Legion arm because you can upgrade it to dodge and you do it really fast. So mm. I would always dodge back or dodge forward and you yeah. like shoot and go backwards. 
So there were times where I could work that into a combo and get out of the way mm-hmm. of an attack. It's just it felt so good. And you can upgrade to do two shots, so you could do a dodge, shoot, and then you shoot again. And Damn. Uh, there's then there's two like bullets in them that are about to explode. It's so satisfying. I love mm-hmm. I, this game was so good. <laughs> this game Somebody so good. did uh, a, a no death speed run and did it in three hours. Okay, so the okay, I'm assuming there's faster ways, but no death speed run. You have to probably play it safe. Because mm-hmm. I, I want to say I saw a speed run for like an hour and 40 or something like that. I could be yeah. wrong, though. But very impressive. I'm, I can't wait to see people dissect this game because I'm sure there'll be speedrunners. Just oh, we'll see this in your uh, what's the thing that you, you GD, like watching? Uh, GDQ. So games done quick. GD, yeah, I was going to say, I bet you this is going to be there. Oh, I'm sure it will be there at some point. Yeah. Uh, any last things you want to touch on before we leave? Um, you could be anything like, is there, what, did you have a favorite area that you liked? Uh, did you hate something? I did so, want to, uh, uh, ask you what was your most hated enemy? I, I wanted to know uh, that because, uh, I, I, I think every Dark Souls from soft game has like that one enemy that you just really kind of can't figure out and you have to like really devote your time to killing. For me, it was the court jester whatever you um, want to call him say the jester hammer motherfucker that guy in the fat clown puppet whatever you want to call him the, the... and see fat clown i got at some i got easier than the other one but yeah he's a bitch too i couldn't like get his... the the his fucking... attacks down i don't know why it's just his like i could see his arm wind and he would throw it and that i would sidestep that I can and he will bring it but like as soon as i'll go to him he does his belly thing i'm like oh my oh, god come on so much damage too in new game plus dude when Why? every time that it hit took me, half my health more than half of my health would go i was like come on it doesn't really have to be half <laughs> um i beginning like first playthrough i always hated the green flame shovel motherfucker yeah, the, with the shovel. The shovel. Oh, my. Yeah, oh. he scared me. I was able to get through him, but he scared me a lot. My I, my guy yeah. that I hated my first playthrough, I was able to nuke him this playthrough because I just did so much damage to him. I don't know his name, but he could turn his hand into a shield and just push at you. Oh, you just, that was it felt yeah, that like was do anything. at the third area. The, the it was at the it was at the the cathedral, and he yeah. would. That's where he, he smacked down. He'll go. Yeah, Poop. yeah a tank. Is what I call oh, him. Hate him so much. I I just felt like New I game could plus, not. I destroyed him in two seconds. New game plus. I, I done with him. Wrecked his lunch. Wrecked his lunch. It felt so good. New game plus. I called the revenge run because I was yeah. so strong <laughs> and I was uh, nuking everything I had problems with, dude. Mm. Nuking, just completely nuking. Every time I'd see the puppet jester guy, I'd throw on like. Uh, phase magazines or whatever, and I would shoot him a bunch, throw some throwables, run back, like just bully him. First playthrough, mm-hmm. I was just, I would die so much. <laughs> like, I would just die so many of those guys. I hated the Pinocchio baby. Yeah, no, not a fan of the Pinocchio baby. One, he's he's creepy. Two, he had that uh, uh, grab move. The I was able to dodge like, a bunch, but he had so I'm much like, health. I had so much health. Yeah. He was a baby. He shouldn't have that much health. I mean. um, annoying enemies, the bodies with the tendrils. I don't know. I, 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 oh, the, the crawling was it? The grabs. They, they had no you? arms, no legs, but they had uh, yeah, yeah, and no head, like but that. they just had a the whip out hated, of their head. Yeah. Hated them because they because it felt like you could barely dodge them. It just wreck you. And again, New Game Plus, no problem at all. Not not a problem. At all. I, I I have to admit, New Game Plus was pretty easy. <laughs> like it it was. It, it, I was I got through it. We very did that quick. faster than we did the actual game. Oh, by I by could, a lot. We. Yeah, because we did four. I did forty-one hours for play one, I did and then New Game Plus took six or something like that. Fif- 10, 15 hours maybe because yeah, I took I it a, ten yeah. for me as well. Something like yeah, that. I, I, I like held something nearly the whole time. The only thing that kept me up was I had to do certain achievements, so I couldn't like pass yeah, certain parts. Exactly. I had to revert save once. I told you this, Alex. I'll tell the audience. Um, I had to revert save, so I killed Victor, and I still needed Bell in that playthrough because I didn't get him in my first playthrough. So I killed Victor stay at the stargazer i go oh wait let me go get bell and i didn't think about it she was dead so she dies if you kill victor before getting to her and i was like oh my god and i immediately deleted my save and started the game praying i would not mm. have been before after killing victor and i was i was right before literally at the door i was like oh my god. i wanted to cry Thank i was god. so happy so happy that because that would have meant i would miss one achievement in that whole game if i 
didn't do it right. And of course, we had to do. So we play on Xbox, PlayStation. This wouldn't have been a problem. We had to do like, we had to try really hard to make sure our save wouldn't upload mm -hmm. when we did the two endings in one playthrough. So we did our new game plus in two play. Uh, we did new game yep. plus to get the achievement for both Geppetto's story and the ending and then the the neutral, yeah, because we got Rise of P or bad first ending. playthrough. Uh, yeah. So we had to do that. And we did the save thing where, you know, you, you immediately delete the save and pray that the uploaded save the was cloud the was you before. Need to. And it was, thank yeah. God. So it worked for both of us. But God, like I wish it was just like PlayStation where I just didn't have to worry about it. Or at least let yeah. me view the save. Don't let me admit, make it to where I can't mess with it. But at least let me look at it so I know what is in the cloud. It's annoying. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, that's everything, I think. Alex? We talked yeah, about no, weapons, we talked about leveling, yeah. collectibles, not really many collectibles in specific, since there are letters and things you can pick up and read and all these mm. things. Um, uh, what was your favorite side oh. character? And then we'll, we'll close the show with that. Favorite side character? Mine was, um, um, I won't count Sophia, because I think she's more of a main character. Um, I count Eugenia. Eugenie. I think I liked her. A lot. I liked her side thing. I like that you can tell her about Alidoro. Uh, yeah. I enjoyed everything about that. I honestly, I enjoyed uh, Vanini. That was a good one, too. I liked it because I didn't see it coming. I didn't think we'd do anything with Vanini until mm -hmm. uh, you'd finish King of Riddles, and you're like, hey, by the way, I killed his parents, and I wanted to see what would happen. I was like, Jesus Christ, dude. Mm -hmm. Give him this doll. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, yep. ra so randomly dark. So out of nowhere. Like, I knew he'd be dark, um, but I didn't think it'd be that weird. Um, When we were talking about weapons, I forgot to shout out the Holy Sword, the Holy Sword, Sword of Arc. Oh, that's right. Didn't that's you use that? Fucking... Whole... Did you use that? Like, for, a new game, game? for New Game Plus. Oh, New Game Plus. That's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so so you, when you I... sang the praises of this to me uh, because you can make it a glaive, right? Oh, my God. Yeah, it has an altar, which is it's, it's his LB and Y ability. OK, and it goes from a big great sword. Fucking it swings. It swings hard, but it's kind of slow. You extend the pommel and it becomes a glaive and you can poke or you could you could swipe really quick or heavy is literally a poke, which is as fast as the swipe. And I'm, it's so good. And literally, so if you extend it, you'll get a debuff for stamina for a, for a couple seconds. But if you close it, you get a buff for damage. Damage, yeah. And as I soon as, that. like, you gave me the idea, as soon as you stagger the person and bring them down to do a crit, close it, get that buff. Bah! I did that Heavy to attack. Simon and to Laxasia. I did it that to everybody. I did that to Puppet Master. That's what I did at the end to kill him. I got him right there at the end. I swung. Wah! I got him stagger. I was like, close! Can and I close? got <laughs> Nice. Yep. Um, okay, now we didn't. I actually meant to talk about this earlier. Bosses, so favorite boss and boss that you just you had the most trouble with. Mm. I'll start off with favorite boss. I really enjoyed Laxius. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think Puppet Master is by f but probably like my favorite favorite. Uh, but uh, it would oh. probably be between those two for like what are my favorite fights. I enjoy the Simon fight just fine, but I just to me, I I, I eh. like the spectacle of Puppet Master and Lexi. No, yeah, sword. yeah. Fighting Romeo was was really fun. Oh, of course, Romeo. Yes. So I didn't yeah, actually cause... enjoy the Puppet King fight that much. I thought that was yeah, yeah, yeah. The second half boring, is... honestly. Yeah, the second half is the better half. Yeah, and then the second half was sick. I wish it was just him, and but he was like stronger, or maybe had a second phase or something. I would like to mm -hmm. just have fought him twice instead of like that Puppet King King thing yeah so that's your favorite um yeah that and i mean honestly as hard as it is pu uh, nameless puppet is a f i fucking love that fight it's it, yeah. like it's hard i wanted to throw my controller but Ugh. it's still like the way it starts like he literally has the puppet strings it's like a... and he's fighting you like it's so cool and then his sword is a scissor and he scissors yeah, and he breaks yep I, so cool. I can't believe I didn't realize that. I, I never realized yeah. that until I made the weapon and started using it. And I was like, wait, it's yeah. scissors because of puppet strings. I am so dumb. Uh, and it was very cool. I I love. Uh, you're my, probably fighting people's brains right now. They're like, 
what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you look at it, it's literally two scissors, and you can take yeah. them apart in the fight. Yeah, and, um, it's that's so what he sick. does in the fucking that's fight. He, yeah. yeah, that's what he does. Oh, Alex, let me tell you the gratification. So the first playthrough, I could not block his dash forward. You know his charge no. dash where he sits there? And he grabs you, puts you in the air? Not that one, not that one. So like, he oh, okay, goes close okay. to the ground and has the two separated, and he's making an oh, X and with goes his arms. Like this, and it's red, and it goes... And then he and comes he at you. Dashes. Could so not, I can dodge it. Could not dodge it. Could not okay. block it. I just couldn't. My first playthrough, I could not do it. Second <laughs> so I could dodge it. My second playthrough, mm-hmm. first try, blocked it, felt like a god, dude. Oh, oh it felt really good. That noise, they really did Bing. nail the sound design of that that thud noise that you could get. Oh, my yep. God. And you see so the gold? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. So I, oh, I was always so nice. able to dodge that one because I could see it. As soon as I see him, he goes, he scoots up a little bit, and then he does it. I'm like, oh. I could never, ever dodge the one where he dashes forward and spikes you and then pulls you in the air, and he looks at you, and you see his half his yep. head is cut and off. And he's like, and it almost looks you. like he's trying to talk. You ever notice yeah. that? Because this well, jaw is doing this like that. So, I'm like, is he trying to talk? So it's weird because I'm thinking that because that's Carlo. Yes. I'm wondering if he's a, like in his way, he's looking at himself and he's like, you look like me. He's probably and confused, then yeah. and then he throws him. And I'm <laughs> like, I fuck. I hate that fucking attack because I can never dodge it. It's I, so fast. I could dodge him a good bit of the time when I see it only because the they have on that. They have the red eye. So when I would uh-huh. see his red eyes, I'd be like, ah! like immediately like run. Yeah. He'd get me. I It would probably be like a, a 50, 50, 60, 40 type deal where I could dodge it or not. He would yeah. grab me a good bit, though. I hated that move where he went forward. Not it looked like he was going to grab you, but it didn't really because he didn't have the red eyes. But he would mm. shoot that red laser in front of it. Oh, th- that got yeah. me a bunch of times. Bunch of times. Um, I, I, I only was able to dodge that like when I was really trying to learn the fight. I had to learn the attack, but where like he like he would he would swipe swipe and then he would swing and then do a second swing. Yeah, like a hes, but it was so hesitant. Yeah, I had to learn that one. Slow, and slow, it goes. It goes slow. Oh, whoop. this game, this game, love hesitating. Oh, they oh, love it. That, they dude. love it. They love this favorite thing. Every boss the has like a, a hit, a hit, and then. Like slow mo, still no, still nothing, no, nope, not yet, not yet, not yet, and then they'll do it. It's like, oh my and god! Roll, and then when I'm getting up, it hits me. I'm like, <laughs> dude, the, whoever whoever put in, he, they can hit you on the ground, man. I, I just want to talk because I hate you. I hate you so <laughs> much. The <laughs> amount of times where I fall and be like, oh my god, I just took so I much trouble, and, dude. And what I love is they'll hit you. You'll be like, oh, I took so much damage. And you're trying to get up. And then they just go, <laughs> boop. And you're like, I just took more damage. Oh, my God. Dude, the amount of times I died on to the shovel guy at Vanini Works right before the flame bar, uh, dude. Um, he, he, <laughs> I he love that he hit me. And I, was, I would get up and then he would go, boom, boom, boom. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> he hits like four to five times. I didn't have the dodge roll to get out of recovery yet, so it was aggravating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a funny one because he would hit you, and then bam, bam, <laughs> bam, bam. bam, bam. Like, you <laughs> stay dead. He would hit so much. I was like, oh my god, they really want you dead to this guy. Yeah. Let's see. That was fair. But oh, uh, uh, hardest boss, the one you had the most difficulty with. You know. Oh, um. First playthrough. Other, other than Nameless Puppet, second playthrough, because obviously that was the one. No, 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 yeah. Issues with. The first playthrough, I think the hardest one. I want to say it was the green monster. Okay. I remember you, you had trouble with it Simon. Too, it was me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Simon was the the most. Okay. That I, yeah. So for and me, I, it was uh, Lexius. I finally beat him, and then they patched it. Yeah, they patched it like two days after that. Two days okay. after I beat it, I beat it. Two days later, I was literally about to get to him. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, we played all this pre-patch. Pre-patch. So none of this was was easier or anything like no, that. No, and we were already I, almost done with New Game Plus when the patch hit. Yeah, we were halfway done. I think. Yeah. Or yeah, because we were because already Xbox past took time like an extra day. 
uh, to to come. It didn't come till yeah. like that Thursday, the Thursday, I think, or Friday that that yeah, that week. Well, was ours already past Romeo? And I think you had just got to past the green monster dude, and you were like, "Oh, the, the I think the patch is up." Yeah, I think so. That sounds right. Like, Fuck, took him long enough. <laughs> but I was like, we beat we beat the game and a half with no patch. Yeah, no patch. They made specters stronger. Uh, oh my god, as well. And they, they really did. They really made him stronger. Uh, I remember using him, and I was like, "This is ridiculous." Uh, I, so I yeah. used him. Um, I didn't get to use the increased specter until Simon. I want to say second playthrough, obviously. And I used him, and I was like, "Let's see how strong he is." It might have been no. Sorry, Laxius. I thought you used Laxius. Sorry. Laxius. Laxius. Yeah. Laxius. Sorry, I used it on Laxius. And I was like, let's see how strong this guy is. I walk in and I, you know, fights normal. She jumps up to do her lightning thing on, on her second phase. I'm like, all right, get, I'm ready to dodge it. Doesn't even hit me. It's going for the specter. The specter is getting shot up. Health not moving. She then does the spr- like the crash down. Still alive. I'm fighting her. Specter right there with me. She does that move again. Aims for the Spectre. Still alive. Hit every single shot. And with the dodge down. Still alive. And I, he didn't die. He kept her aggro almost the entire second. Of, I was like, they made this guy much stronger. <laughs> like, it's, there were wild, times, it's wild because he died for me first uh, first phase. I'm like, how did yours survive? And then I did it again. And then it was fine. The Spectre was real hit and go before that patch. There were times where he was, uh, he was you know, all right. There are times he'd die in three seconds. I would start the boss fight. And then I, destroy he would destroy him. He would just run forward, get hit by the strongest move, die immediately, or at least be yeah. half health and be useless because he'd die like before. It was and, so uh, random how useful he was and how useful he was. And honestly, he was he was more like there there will be times where like I just need him to be focused for a little bit while mm-hmm. I do something that could be. And as soon as gun, he heal. gets focused. And I go to hit one time, it's dead. I'm like, (laughs) (laughs) and I didn't check to see if this game does it. But like, you know, when you bring something to help you with in certain FromSoft games, other games, the health, the health on the enemies double. Yeah, I didn't add a modifier to it. Yeah, I didn't know if they did that in this game. I didn't. I I don't know. Checked, but I, I tried checking, but I couldn't see a difference. The little bit I played without the Spectre because I liked having the Spectre. It was I, yeah. to me, it was more fun and it wasn't really yeah. that much big of a it's seemingly big of a difference uh, in terms of like difficulty. He's not a mimic, it, but it didn't see he's no mimic. The mimic was broken. I can't believe that was in. The, I still can't believe that's in the game. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it didn't seem like he got more health. Uh, maybe maybe so. he maybe there was a slight modifier where he maybe has a little more health and a little more damage. I don't know. Uh, yeah. But whatever it was, the Spectre wasn't doing damage, really. <laughs> like, he wasn't there for damage for me. If anything, He's he was there like, to he was there to help with status effects and just aggro. And take attention. Aggro, yeah. yeah. Like, he wasn't there doing damage. <laughs> now, pre post-patch, maybe. I didn't really pay attention to the damage because I was ready to beat the game by that point. But mm-hmm. uh, And I only had to... And I only, could only do two fights with him. Uh, so I, I didn't really get much time with him. Did you like the repair durability thing? So I immediately was upset when you when I because I believe I asked you, you I was playing Starfield yeah. and you were playing Liza P and I was doing some more Starfield stuff and I was like, hey, is there durability? Because I was like, I think I heard that there might have been or something. And you're like, yeah. And I was like, oh, oh, yep, my God. Are you like serious? Main mechanic for that. And I and I in doing it and I feel like they did it really well. So it seems like mm-hmm. it really is only a problem in long stretches of play. So like when there's a real yeah. long point between stargazers and mm-hmm. it feels cool because every now and then you're like, oh, let me, re-, you know, you do it. And it feels very satisfying to do. Mm-hmm. I don't think I really had to do it much in boss fights because it seems like it only really needs a lot of repairing if you're doing a lot of the perfect guards, I think, uh, because so, uh, the perfect yeah. guards take a good bit, good little chunk of the weapon durability. Yeah. And I and my guy was dexterity. So I'm over here trying to dodge. I'm not really trying to guard that much. Uh, until I got the two Drake sword, and of course the heavy attack with that is a perfect guard, which I would do all the time because that was so mm. satisfying. That was some of the most satisfying thing I did in the entire game. New Game Plus uh, Nameless Puppet made my durability go to red every time. Um, did he do that with me? 
it would be it would be like at a like at a quarter left where it would like where right when it turns red, I still had quarter of his health left. I'm like, bro, I do not need my weapon to die right now. I will be but perfectly I honest. Got to and charge it a little bit. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with the achievers here. Nameless puppet second playthrough. I there was maybe two to three times I even got past half of his health on his second phase. That's how hard he was for me. Like I struggled with him a Dude, lot. Dude, second playthrough. I beat him like my third try on first playthrough. Second, third try. And then this try, like or New Game Plus took me like fucking what? 20 uh, 10 15 times. Yeah, we kind of have Maybe random more. difficulties cuz the people I had problems with, you destroyed pretty fast. Laxius and Nameless Puppet. Laxia are really the only um, are really the only bosses I had huge trouble with. Technically, I had a problem with Area 4 boss. That is because I'm a stupid fuck, and I wanted to experiment with assembling weapons, and I assembled a booster glaive handle with the tip of the rapier, and the booster glaive I blade... It would be the other way. No, that's... And I was just about to say, the booster glaive sword on the rapier's handle. So I did both, yeah. and I had both of them equipped. Uh, because okay. one would do a huge slashes and the other one would be strong poke damage. Yeah, I did the booster glaive sword on area four boss with the handle. And I just kept dying. I was there. I probably tried him 20 to 30 times. I don't know how many times I had. To, I had to go get more stark fragments. That's how many times I did it. And I think I had like 20 something, something like that. Yeah. The moment I switched back to my rapier base with nothing Took everything off. I went to four, uh, I went to no slight heavy. Beat him the second try. I was pissed because I was like, "Why did I even change anything?" <laughs> like I, yeah. I like this is the you starter so weapon. Used, you were so used to the 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 way it plays. Probably because I tried to. I tried doing the same thing in New Game Plus. Like I love the bone saw. First playthrough, ran through the whole game. Used the holy sword of arc. The whole second playthrough, where I was having trouble with nameless pup. I was like, you know what? Let me use bone saw couldn't use it i i was like i kept trying i was doing worse with it Ooh. i was like okay so let me go back to the holy sword of arc and i was doing better i'm like okay well then i'm just comfortable with this weapon now because i just knew how it was like it was just better yeah i want to know people's favorite weapons levels all these things let, let me know in the and... comments of course yeah what builds did you run i didn't see many builds in this game i didn't see many people posting builds um, yeah, in this game. every time I look it up, it's always like, oh, A, B, A, B, C, or uh, S tiers weapons, but I can never find what are good combos per thing. Yeah, I, I didn't really see many that. people. I saw, I, I, I follow Fextra Life, which is a really cool YouTube where they literally just do builds for games. And um, he had four builds that were fun, but I just stuck with two dragons because it just seemed the most fun. Uh, and I And it was, it was by far the most fun. Uh, I love that play style of swipe, dodge, swipe, dodge, which is just how it mo like how you can use it, which is such fun, so much fun. And then mm -hmm. the heavy attack being a, a parry that you can. Oh, my God, there's so many things, too. And th that would nuke their stance, too, which was so much fun as well. Yeah. Um, Alex, I think this is about the fourth time I said it, but I think we're actually done this time. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for joining. Just, me. This was yeah. fun. I wanted to talk as about you can this, see, game. this game has been quite like surprising for us that it was that good <clears throat> oh yeah i, I want to be clear I, I i i was like yeah you know i'll, I'll play it and then you were like this is really good and i was like yeah yeah let me play starfield because i really wanted to dig into starfield and then you're like dude this is good you I was like, all right this. all right all right so i i like i was like let me just beat starfield well because like I, I the game it. starts at first too you're like the mechanics are a little you know feels different so you're like okay i don't know if this is gonna feel good the more you play it, the more comfortable you get and like, yeah. like more smooth. You're like, oh, this is awesome. This feels Same. great. Same. Yeah, I, I the mo it, for me, it was really the moment I, it started where I was like, oh, I'm in this. Like, I don't know yeah. what what really triggered it. I think it was really just the atmosphere when you start and it's like everything's dark and you have the uh, the the uh, the train station voice lady going like, welcome to crate like all that stuff and mm -hmm. t telling you like you know, like hey, uh, all visitors will be safe here and and everything's like killing people and like yeah. destroying people's bodies and things i think just that little bit was like this is gonna be fun and it was 
Thank God. And it was really good. And it was um, I, I, I gave it a knock against the pacing earlier. I actually think the pacing was very good in this. I actually kind of want to retract that. I think it does really well with kind of pe- like really you're slowly getting to know the environment around you. And then you're you're like slowly learning more and more and more and more and more. And yeah, <clears throat> this yeah is I like definitely the areas are like based on chapters and stuff. Yeah, a yeah, chap. Yeah, there is a very almost like a book. You know, you going back to back yeah, that's what I was thinking. You go back to a chapter, things. yeah. Uh, and also, that makes sense why you can do that because she can control time, so she's just winding back time uh-huh. to where you were there. It's very cool. You know, so many things are. I mean, so much good yeah. stuff in this game. Very, yeah. very special. I loved the P organ. We didn't even talk about. It. I mean, there's so much we didn't talk about. Like the P organ was awesome. Stuff, yeah, there's so much. Yeah. I honestly, one thing I will say is a knock about this game, and there's a couple knocks, but I, I, I want to say this. I feel like we didn't get enough Jiminy. I didn't yeah. think he talked that much. He, he talked a little bit in the beginning. He had that funny uh, railway joke where, like, we're going up the railway and he pretends to be the announcer. And he's like, welcome. Yeah. To, you know. And, we, you know, there's a couple of things throughout the game. Well, I he just, talks like, I, every I wish... time after a main boss or a main thing happens, he talks. But yeah, it's not true. It's not a lot. I wish I, I guess I should say I wish it was more about him or, or something about him. Like maybe a little bit more about him, like more companionship makes... than just being a side. Like yeah, I, like, yeah. you, like with uh, Mimir being with Kratos in the newer games, like yeah. you know, he talked and stuff like that. Like it, was, it felt more companionship. And like... I wish it was more we're friends than like you're a guy that just talks to me. Because exactly. he does kind of be like, "Come on, man, let's do this." Like, or, or, I think yeah. he says he's something trying. like, "Well, let's do it together." Near the end, and yeah, I was like, where you're you're stuck think... with me now. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, "Are we?" I don't think I, I don't feel that relationship here, but I wish I did. So that was one thing yeah. I feel like that was not quite well done. Yeah, uh, especially in this game. But aside from that, I, again, I, 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 frankly, am sad to see not more people talking about it. Uh, I, I feel like this should be a much bigger deal than it is, and I just think there's too many good games. I think that's the problem. I think it's just yeah. I mean, I, be, I, be, I think people are still playing Starfield. I, th- and, I think, uh, I think people- the release near Starfield hurt it. I think Spider Man in a few days. It's just that coupled yeah. with Assassins and in four days. Assassins and then and, after, yeah. There's just a lot around it, and I just think it it just didn't hit enough. I really mm-hmm. hope it sold well. It was on Game Pass on Xbox, so hopefully they got a good cunt- chunk of change from that. Uh, mm-hmm. It's on all platforms, and I believe they did a thing where uh, if you paid early or you pay more, you got to play it early. So maybe that got them some extra revenue. I just hope they were able to to be in the black with this, and and we get another yeah. sequel, and this studio can continue because clearly they're talented. Clearly yeah. they got the stuff. And if and I'm gonna say it, if From is not gonna make a Bloodborne, let them do it. Let let yeah. them make it then, because you're not doing it. So let let yeah them they they it. yeah they have good assets. <laughs> yeah they got it anyways thank you so much for joining this Liza P spoiler cast we're going to be seeing you if you're only interested in our spoiler cast we'll be very very close to this one 19 days we get Spider-Man and of course you can expect a spoiler cast the moment we finish that of course we mm-hmm. play games alongside you so don't expect anything early in terms of uh, the oh, actual yeah, coverage no. for the game we will just be playing that alongside you so when that game drops of course I'll be tweeting you'll be hearing Alex yeah. I'm sure tweet about it and these things and we'll be talking about it. I can't wait uh, already for that game that game is going to be so much fun. It might be oh, game of the sure. year. It's going to be, it's a great, great year all around. Yep. But I'm swinging away from these, from these spoilers. Yep. I got everything muted. Hopefully it keeps me away from the spoils. Yeah. I had, we had, we were, I was messing with you on Twitter saying, it's like, Hey, you forgot this word. Yep. I added more. I added even more <laughs> after that too. I was like, I was like more, I was like MJ, Mary Jane. I was, uh, Mysterio, like just random villains. Like, like I just kept yeah, adding stuff. Spider Man stuff. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think I added Sandman. Like just random thing. I was like, I don't want anything. I think I added Craven because you said Craven. Like just yeah. the random things. I was like, I don't want to see any of this. Yeah. Alex, thank you for joining. Can't wait to Ooh. see you again on another spoiler cast. Achievers, thank you for joining mm-hmm. me this week. So remember, like, comment, subscribe, you know what to do. And until next time, remember. Go Chief. Go Chief. <laughs>